Hello, we're back, and, uh, well, you know, I, I, I may have oversold how much junging we might have to do today. Um, I've been looking into it. Specifically, I've been looking into exactly what the cheat item does, um, for Mahjong. Um, it's, it's in here somewhere. It's, like, not alongside everything, everything else, so it's, like, hot. Yeah, it's up here, for some reason. But, yeah, the peerless tile, um... All, like all the mini games in at least in this game, probably in some of the others, um, have cheat items like the trip, trips you can, the ten ten one charm, all this shit that just cause like ideal situations to occur in you know the chance based games. Um, and the peerless tile is is just such a thing. Apparently, there's three you can get total in the game. We've got two. We've not used one. Um, so I think that it's just lying around somewhere, or maybe it's a reward for this sub-story we're gonna do. That would make sense. But I have two. Um, and yeah, from my understanding, from looking into it, uh, 13 or like, what will happen is, um, we, we will go into the sub-story, and we'll go into the jung, right? We will, we will be junging. Um, uh, but, but actually, before we can even start junging, um... It'll pop up like, hey, do you want to use the peerless tile? It's not like a thing you use from the menu. It prompts you at the start of the game. Do you want to use the peerless tile? And you'll say yes. And basically, you will immediately start with, I, I think, this hand 13 orphans, like it says. I think? Still don't have a complete understanding. My junk power is very weak. When I say I've been practicing junk, it is true. But it's only true in the sense that I played, like, one game on on mahjong soul uh because I, I well i just did and it was against one person and two easy ai but i did win uh with some decent hands actually um so in terms of the absolute minimum of what we need to do because apparently the way this works is we'll just get that hand and win the game instantly like that's how good it is it's a hand that just wins um so we might just immediately win the game and not, like, have to, at the minimum, do any major junging. Uh, on high Sherry, by the way. I, I, I don't know if I said that already. Um, but I might do some makeup junging anyway, because I kind of want to, after playing that little bit of Mahjong Soul and kind of hyping myself up to do some junging. But we, we have a few things to do today. Uh, so we're fin finishing Kiwami 2 proper today. Uh, we still got to do Majima Saga. So we're still... And that might... I don't know how long that's going to take. We might be able to do that in one stream. Uh, and hi, Kazjak. Hello. Hope you're doing well. Um, but yeah, a few things we need to do today. Um, well, I've been doing... I've been doing some stuff off stream. Hence why I've actually now got all of my XP uh, maxed out. At uh, 9,999. Guys, Jack, why? Start to pop on. God. I, like, actually, if we got, you know, Majima doing idle activities. Majima doing idle activities during Yakuza 5 and being a rival to Haruka would be really good. Just like bunking. I, I guess I understand. I wish, I wish you'd find more, more constructive hobbies. Um... But yeah, what we need, to, uh, yeah, I've been doing, I've been doing bouncer stuff specifically. Um, well, a few things. I did bouncer stuff, so I got a few things. Uh, all the gear I've got equipped and all the weapons I got equipped right now uh, are actually from Kamiyama. I finally did the thing I said I was going to do. Very constructive. You unmake things. That's destructive. That's the opposite. But anyway, uh, I did the thing I've finally been saying I was going to do with Kamiyama. The thing with him is he will... He he gains more inventory the more stuff you sell to him. Don't destroy, you unmake. I guess if it's not destructive unmaking, like if you you take something apart, that's not destructive. But bonking is definitely destructive. It'd be embarrassing if you died with that amount of HP. I mean, I, I, I as I'm about to explain, I am very 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 well prepared i could be better prepared but i'm very well prepared screw by screw plate by plate her insides become outsides oh it sounds so gross when you say it like that oh no uh but yeah the more value stuff you sell to kamiyama the more of his inventory becomes unlocked he also had new stuff unlocked from us having beaten the game 
Um, so I'm kind of cl much closer to being out of money. Um, you may recall last time we had 75 million yen. And I actually spent pretty much all of that. And then I went back to the... Uh, I went back to the hostess club and made a bit more money and then spent more of it. Um, so basically the stuff that was available... Uh, we, we've got a new movie to watch. I don't know how long it's been there, but it was there before I even sold anything to him. And I think it's the one that gives us access to Tonfas. Uh, so I should really do that for a reason I'll explain now. So, some of the things that were available include the Photon Blade RG, which I've been using. Has infinite uses. Although I, I may have found a bug with it. I don't know what the deal is, right? Because with weapons, regardless of their durability... Especially blades. I don't know if it applies to every weapon. But with blades, when you use them as a heat weapon, it uh, or when you use them as a heat move, you destroy them, kind of. But, you know, for equipped weapons, it just reduces their durability to zero. So that happened with the Photon Blade RG. I used it in a heat move, and it was just at, like, zero when it's supposed to be infinite. And then I took it back to, Ka to Kamiyama here, because he also repairs weapons. And it w it seemingly wouldn't register as a weapon to be repaired, and then you know I couldn't equip it again. So I don't know what the deal with that is. So I I think I've just got to not use it in heat moves. But yeah, this thing's really strong. I've been doing bouncer missions. And I've been using this fucking thing. I've also got the photon blade W, but since that qualifies as Kali sticks, which I can't equip yet, I cannot use them. But I do have them. Uh, and the coma inducer is here. I don't have that. Um. Uh, pistol that shoots out anesthetic bullets uh but no i just brought brought the, da the dragon sp which does have infinite ammo and 100 attack rumor has it when a man who embodies a noble dragon-like spirit wields this weapon it won't run out of bullets but yeah after i well basically what i did like i said i had 75 million yen and i didn't know the the monetary value that i needed to sell back to him for his like full inventory to become available so Price loading tomfers just use a gun. Hold to the 21st century. Well, exactly. That's why I got the Dragon SP. I haven't actually tried it yet. Uh, but basically, I, I didn't have enough to get a full inventory of Photon Blade RGs, so I bought 14 instead of 15. And that's what drained my 75 mil. And then I sold them all back. Unfortunately, I, I'm, I'm so used to the way it works in Armored Core, where you can just sell things back for full value. Um, they only sell for 10% of the value. Um, so I was not left with very much money after that. Um, which is why I had to go make some more. There's also, yeah, this the illegal poison Kodachi, which is also, um, infinite health, uh, infinite durability and stuns. Some interesting ones. This one burns and stuns. The dragon sticks we've already got. Um, they've actually, yeah, same damage value as the Photon Blade W, but it's cooler. Uh, hold on. I haven't read the descriptions for the Photon Blades. A fictional weapon from a video game brought to life by the world's most cutting-edge technology. And a Photon Blade RG set, customized for dual wielding. Its star-bright appearance is reminiscent of a fantasy. So yeah, uh, I think we need to go watch the Filipino Ace, and then I'll be able to equip Photon Blade W. Uh, there's a few other things I bought. Like this, this, I didn't buy this, but there's the Transcendent Mouth Guard, which is pretty good. Plus 22 attack and 10 defense. I bought this. Which has blade and gun resist plus 24 defense, which is pretty good. Uh, I don't remember what else I've got equipped, but I've got something else uh, equipped. So those are that's all good. Yeah, don't need to buy anything from you right now. Uh, what I've got equipped? Oh right, the heavenly beast bracelet. I think we got this from a sub story or something last time, and it has pretty good stats. It's plus 12 on attack, heat, and defense, which is pretty good. So our stats are looking pretty decent. They could be further optimized. Certainly. I just got this. You get a lot of equipment rewards from the um, from the bouncer missions. I got the parry talisman. Allows you to parry almost any attack. Oh. But then the effect says can guard against almost any attack. Hmm. So, like, you could guard bullets on top of... Because I can already guard blades. I have that as a skill. I don't even need equipment for that. Uh, I wonder about that. I don't know. Uh, I'll have to try that out at some point. But yeah, that's my equipment for the time being. As soon as I watch the the DVD, we will equip the Photon Blade. So let's go to the video store. And we'll get that done. Where is it again? Is it Fusion? Yeah, it's Fusion where we watch these things. Yes. Uh, where am I? Yeah. Alright. Okay, okay. 
So, yeah, there's that. I was thinking about doing all of the bouncer missions, at least the normal difficulty ones, to have more luck off stream. But I got to a point where it was one of the Amons who was the client for the uh, for the bouncer mission. I was like, hmm, actually, maybe not. Because I want to, and I think those like later ones also include the Amons as opponents. Am I going the right way? I am. Huh? Wait, am I? Yes. Uh, so yeah, I want to I want to go into those fights blind, and yeah, as as I said and as we know, there are not one uh, like the previous game, not two like in Zero, but four Amons in this game. We're gonna have to fight all of them, and I think some of the bouncer missions might have us fight them all at the same time. I think, may I go? Okay. I was gonna say, are they not gonna let me in here because I've got Haraka with me? But no, I guess it's fine. Haraka's a big girl. It doesn't matter if, if she sees naked women or or gachi muchi. It's it's fine. It's absolutely fine. Right, hello. I've got a DVD I want to watch. Uh, yes, please. So yeah, we need to do the Jung thing. We also need to do the baseball and golf uh, sub-stories. I think those are the only things we have left to do before the Amon stuff starts. But there's like four Amon sub-stories this time for all four of the lads, I think. Bad uncle, it's fine. Yeah, Filipino Ace, and then we don't need to watch anything else. Go with this one. Oh yeah, and I got an achievement for watching all the videos. There you go. So I was probably able to do this ages ago. I just didn't. And we're still wearing this outfit, by the way. <laughs> At least until the Amon fights, then the shirt comes off. Can you hold it until she's not around? I need to, I need to watch Filipino Ace, whatever it's called. Tally Stick Master. I'm sure she'd like this movie. Oh. This is informational. Yeah, I don't know how hard it's going to be to do, like, the the golf and baseball sub-stories, but we're just going to figure it out, pretty much. Oh, he's learning. See? See, Haruka's going to appreciate this. It's fine. This is good enrichment for her. This is a good activity. That one felt almost like an instructional video at times, but it was interesting either way. There's a lot to learn in there. There you go. Allows for attacks using Kali Sticks. And Essence of Kali Sticks. I can I can go down from max X, uh, max XP. Uh, I do not want to watch anything else. I'm good. Yeah, I'll head out. Guess I'll head out. I can learn those moves. And then, then we can go truly insane with the, with the weapons. Right, so it's battle skills... And we know, I, I still haven't worked on these. I mean, one of them is doing all the bouncer missions. There's, like, the arena stuff. Still not done that. That's fine, though. We don't need it. Truly. There you go. And I think, um... I don't know, yeah, we got the golf primer when we were doing golf. I don't know if we've done baseball in this game at all. Are you even off stream? Um, but there's a primer for that as well. Just saw the, all of uh, Manu Race's name. So good, it might be as good as Zero. I'm really looking forward to getting there. Obviously, it's still a while away. Um, basically, I mean, I've seen... I've seen that there is a character who has some relation to a character from Zero, which is pretty exciting because it's a character I really like. I won't say any more about it. The spoilers. Yes, tag! Mahjong today. Um, I was just saying, because we have the cheat item and the way the cheat item works we might instantly win the sub story we're probably gonna go do it right now um but i am going i'll probably do some makeup jonging because i've like i was just saying i i played like one game of mahjong soul uh, over the course of the week so i have it's more fresh in my mind and i'm more confident about jonging now so i might do a bit of jonging just we do a little jonging um, we just learned all the... We just learned the Kali Sticks thing, so we can equip Kali Sticks now. Which means we can equip the Photon Blade W! Let's go! Now, these things kick ass, both both in terms of being overpowered and looking really cool. Because Dragon Engine effect, it's sick. Uh, right, let's go... Let's go to the Jung thing. So I think the idea with the Jung sub-story is that, you know, you're helping this guy out who's in debt. And you, like, as part of the partic this particular game of Jung, you um, start in an unfavorable position, so it would be hard to win playing normally. So I'm going to use the chi item. And, you know, we're going to blaze our way through that. But we will do some proper Junging. We have other mini games to do, but I will do a little bit of Junging. Promise. 
Right. Time to fucking die, fellas. Oh. <laughs> Kali's take is pretty good. 88 damage. Infinite durability. And then we've got the... The RG for the big sweeping attack. And we've got the gun. The, the infinite gun, if I press the right button. Doesn't do that much damage, but it's infinite gun. So it's pretty good. <laughs> I'm fairly strong now. <laughs> and again, we could be stronger. I'm not, like, optimized on equipment or anything. There is, like, um, they don't tell you about it, but there are equipment set bonuses, pretty much. Oh, there's a street bus I gotta do. Right. Um, I want to do all those at some point. That's not a priority, but it's something to do. Um, but yeah, there are set bonuses for uh, what equipment you've got on. The game just does not tell you this, and it doesn't tell you any of the combinations. I don't know how it works. I guess it's it's very similar to the uh, the food combo system. There are more men in the way of me and my jung. Yes. Although I will say, with that one uh, that one game of Mahjong Soul that I played, it was only against uh, one AI and one actual person. And well, no, two e two easy AI and one actual person. But I did win. I did win that game. And I, I got some good hands as well. I played decently. It's, uh... I, I feel like I've got a, a little bit more confidence of the with the game and, like, knowing what, what I'm trying to do. All right, hello. All right. It's been a while. You ready, punk? We take that last thousand from you and then it's time to pay up. Wait, please. Uh, uh I guess I'll play for him. And cheat. All right, I'll play for you. Huh? Hey, you're the guy who was calling his replacement before. You got a real heart of gold, buddy. And if I win, you said you'd clear his debt, right? Ah. Go oh, well. But if you lose, his debt's going to the ceiling. Please don't lose. Now come on, let's get going. Use the peerless tile? Yeah. We're gonna use it. So we could have done this a long time ago. Ah, the Mahjong controls. Uh, I'm good. Alright, start game. So we should just immediately get, like, a, a god hand. Oh, and the tiles are numbered now. Uh, so now I... Uh oh, I need to think about what to do. Hold on. There was... I was looking at a guide. Hold on, wait. Hold on. Peerless tile, Kiwami 2. Uh... I need to be told what to do, even when I'm giving a... Given a perfect hand. Yakuman streamer. I am, I am not good. I'm not good at Mahjong. I'm a basic Mahjong player. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that's where it is. Okay. Yeah, Kamaki gave us one of them. Using the tile. Yes, yeah. We'll load, we'll start in the east position. Your hand will automatically contain all the tiles that needs to produce the valuable pure 13 orphan's hand. The ones and nines for each suit, one of each cardinal direction, and one of each dragon. That's a pretty insane hand, yeah. Before you touch anything, look to the bottom right. You should already have two button props. Uh, Richie and Sumo. There's no reason to call Richie, so hit X for Sumo. You'll immediately rack up 1,404... Uh, you know, 144,000 points and win the game. Uh, yeah, there you go. It's that e Wait, which did it say? I'm so lacking in confidence. Uh, yeah, we need, we want a sumo. Yes. Uh, I, I, I sumo. Yeah, I got 13 orphans. I'm so lucky, bro. Sumo. Yeah. <laughs> what a gamer. I junked. <laughs> Your points, please? How'd I do? How'd I do? Heavenly hand. I know what that is. That's for just getting a good hand that you can, you know, win with. Like, a, 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 you get dealt a good hand. There you go, pure 13 orphans. I get a million points. Everyone is in debt now. <laughs> Hell yeah. Now, if only it'd be that lucky when, I, when I'm actually, you know, whenever I'm going to actually try and get the completion list stuff for Mahjong. There you go. And already reaches maximum points, so there's no reason to reach you. Right, yeah. That's my my the the limits of my understanding right now, the rough limits of my understanding are like, okay, here's how you play the game. Here are some Yaku that you can try and get. 
uh, shit that I forget is like, right, which which is Sumo and which is Richie? Like, what do those do again? And like, which, you know, there's like Pan and Can and the other one that I don't remember right now. Like, which one is which for completing what thing? Like, what makes a triplet? What's making a, a quad? Stuff like that. Um, yeah, it's it's a whole thing. But I'm, I'm learning. I'm learning. I'm getting better. I'm getting better. What the shit, man? You're like some kind of major own wizard. That's true. I cheated. I came in first, which means you'll clear Takasago's debt, right? Ah! Like hell we will. You'll have to do better than one win to pay off what this fool owes us. This bet was your idea, not mine. You can't just change the terms after you lose. Don't give me that preachy bullshit, man. Let's take this outside. I was being told in the Discord, actually, about a similar situation in Yakuza 4, but that's where it's like Mahjong to progress in the main story. Um, but there's a way around it. It's like you've got to get a silver plate, but you can buy a fake silver plate from the pawn shop or something like that. So maybe I'll I'll try maybe I'll try and do some proper jonging then. Uh, I will do some proper jonging like now, but you know to actually progress and not cheat. Yeah, let's take it outside. Uh, hold on, I realized while we were playing, I think this guy's Kazuma Kiryu. <laughs> huh? The Dragon of Dojima. Not a name I choose to go by, but where were we? I believe you said something about taking this outside. <coughs> Ugh, let's get out of here. Hey, you know, it's, it's it's happening more and more now that Kiryu's reputation lets him avoid fights, which is pretty sick. Sorry for dragging you into this mess. This is actually my first time playing here. I kind of just wandered in and they let me join in. I had a pretty good streak going too. I figured it couldn't hurt to bet a little larger. But that's when they turned up the heat. I lost all my winnings, and I was in the hole before I knew it. They played me for a fool, huh? As long as you know better than to fall for it again, I won't be there to help you next time. Yeah. Right, I'm done with gambling. I'm with Mahjong, I promise. Mahjong causes great harm to the human spirit with no benefits. <laughs> Anyways, thanks for helping me out. Here. Oh, just some money. I guess if he had a peerless tile, he would have used it. Later. Alright, thanks, buddy. Against all odds. Okay, okay. Now, let's do a little bit of John. Just a bit. How about a bit of mash on? Not really the greatest players in the world. Hey, me neither. It's very cheap. Yeah. I'll play a bit of John. Just a little bit. No, don't use the peerless tile. No, no, no. Okay, start game. Yeah, very much. Oh, it, it doesn't actually show. Oh, no, it shows the numbers for the ones that are hard to read the numbers on. That's good. Right. So, we, we've we got, you know, we've got two here. We've got a, we've got a, we got a four, five, six. We've got a triplet. And this is seven and then nine. Uh, but we've got a triplet here. We could go, we could say like triplet. We've got a triplet and a double. So we can hold on to those, definitely. My general strategy thus far is to, like, aim for all simples. And no doubt someone who knows how to play the game playing against me would be able to read that shit real easy. Obviously, we can... Um, well, I, that's that's the thing with wins, right? The thing that I got told when we were playing Mahjong in Zero is that, like, an easy thing to do is play to the, like, the wind of the round. So we're on East 1 in the middle right now. So... Having, having a bunch, having like three Easts, or you know, three of whatever the, uh, the you know, whatever round it is, uh, is a good one. Like that, that gets you points. Um, but there's also like, th there's the seat wind as well. Cause you can see next to, next to our score and the name there, we're in the South position. So you can hold on to South as well in this situation for something of similar value. But I didn't realize that until I, I got, like, someone showed me a chart, like an, uh, a chart with just some simple Yaku on them. And I actually, I have it here. I'm going to pull that up. Uh, there we go. Uh, just just so I have that on my screen. One sec. Can I make that a reasonable size without blocking chat? Yeah, that's okay. Yeah, that's where I learned about that. That's pretty helpful. So, I guess what, you know, my strategy would be get rid of ones and nines and get rid of irrelevant wins you know we can't use the west 
you can do stuff with this tile. Um, like looking at my thing. Yeah, like a triplet containing a dragon or a wind is just good. All simples, all sequences, no triplets, and Richie gives you three hand, which is pretty easy. Yeah, that's like my general goal. I've kind of partially been trying to learn more complex stuff, but I haven't really played that many games. So, at the end of the day, the goal is the go you know the goal is all simples. Uh, all sequences would be nice, but the goal is all simples. Uh, but you know, it's I, I, what I want to figure out is what to prioritize when discarding. Right, like I say, you know, I could, I, I would not, pr I would not get rid of this south wind first, right? Because we could maybe do something with that, maybe, maybe, and get something out of that. So that that that's my point basically. So we can get rid of the west. That's what we would get rid of here because it's, it's useless. So we could chi that, which is for a. The, see, that's what I mean. It's pun chi and can, right? I don't remember which is which. So would this be for a... I mean, you can... Wait. Yeah, you can make a triple out of this, but we already have a five for that. And, of course, you know, having a having a concealed... Ha I've been told a, a good thing to do as a new player. Like, one thing to go for is for a fully concealed hand because you you show what you've made when you steal, when you do a, a punch or a can. The folding, what you want to do is drop tiles uh, the people you're scared of have already discarded. Those are 100 percent safe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got, I've got that on my guide. Um, actually, I, I will pull that up. Let me just show you what I'm looking at really quick. You don't sort of want to drop tiles that are one off to a discarded tile, right? That makes sense. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so where oh, it's in my folder full of a million files. Uh, I was trying to like, I was trying to search for it. Because I've, anyway, I just called it Maj It's just called Mahjong Easy Yaku dot JPEG, um, but it's a very big folder. So Explorer crashed a few times while I was doing that. Right. Uh, buh, 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 buh. So yeah, this this is what I've got up right now. I'm not gonna not gonna show it to you for too long, but it's just it's got some interesting stuff on it. It's it's nice to have on the side while jogging to remind myself of some of these things. Um, but yeah, it has a, that. That's why I wanted to show it. Is it has that seat of that segment regarding defense at the end there. Pun stealing tile for triplet. She's uh, she's completing a sequence by taking a discarded tile from the opponent to your left. Okay, right. I didn't know that about Chi. I thought they were all. It, the only difference was like what kind of thing you make by doing it. That's interesting. That's good to know. Thank you. But yeah, pun is triplet. Uh. I, I, the other one is can it can is for a, a quad right because i've done that i did that in my mahjong soul game um but anyway let me just get that out of the way there you go yeah that's what i'm looking at uh so i'm gonna not take that oh another one of these uh can i do so yeah you can use that as a that is a pair we can use that as a pair i guess uh and we also have this pair also uh, but maybe we can make a triplet with that, though, with the, the, the two fours here. Uh, so let's get rid of this nine, because fuck nines. They're cringe. See, we could pun for a triplet. Yeah, pun is still, yeah, like you say, pun is still in the tile form of triplet. So we could do that. Uh, I'm going to do it. Whoa. Fuck it. May not be the smartest decision. I, I want my triplet. Uh, oh, there's a south. Oh wait, no, the, the south, that's what we had, no. I kept getting, I kept being dumb about this as well. Um, whenever I was, <laughs> whenever I was playing in Mahjong Soul, I'd like do a pun or a can or a chi or whatever. And then I would be like, uh, oh yeah, not my turn anymore. No, still need to discard though. Dipshit. Uh, always trust the Ronya cat. Pay no attention to the law that she's fucking terrible. Yeah, it's fine. I mean, she's one of the two characters I've got in Mahjong Soul because I've not engaged with that game uh, outside of playing one match, and I, I don't know how you even get the currency to, like, roll for new characters. I, I don't play gacha games. I'm not going to spend money on that game, most likely. Um, so, right. Anyway. Uh, this is... Uh, like, this is... Uh, I don't know. Can you do a sequence of four? I think you could do a sequence of four. Can you? 
might be wrong. Uh, is that a good thing? Or do I want to play around that? I don't know. I don't know. Um, hmm. Yeah, all, all this. Well, I mean, we could get a five, and this would be a, a, a triplet as well. So I guess we get rid of these shits. These fox. Yeah, trash them. I don't really care if I win. Uh, oh, there it is. All right, there you go. There's your triplet, baby. Uh, yeah, get rid of the seven again. I think we're going to get rid of the, the south wind now. Uh, there's another six. You grind a lot once you don't really mind about the gacha since it's at zero percent gameplay ramification. Yeah, yeah, it seems uh, it 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 doesn't seem harmful or aggressive or anything like that. So I don't have any issue with it. Uh, let's get rid of the south. Now I've given up on that. Uh, don't want that. So, here's the point where I need to think about where we're at. Th this is where I struggle, right? This is what I'm bad at. I don't think any gacha has an active collaboration with Kamen Rider. That's good, I guess. Yeah, I, I can't think of any. Not that I pay that much attention to gacha games and their collaborations. So, we need to think about where we're at. Obviously, this one isn't doing anything for us right now. But that what I'm saying is this is where I struggle, right? I'm bad at looking at a partial hand like this and being like, okay, what have I got? Where do I go from here? Like I say, I don't know if my five, you know, my five, six, seven, eight. I don't know if you can do a, a, a quadru quadruplet, a quad. I don't know if you can do a quad like that. Um, I guess we can get rid of one of our doubles here with the bamboos and hope we complete the other one. But there's also, you know, the one isn't doing anything for us. Let's get rid of that and we can hedge our bets on both of our doubles becoming triples. I think. Might be smart. Uh, that's a one. I don't want that. That's cringe. Uh, that's a two. I don't want that. See, I'm not thinking about my defense either. You know, that's still far ahead of me. I don't want that. I don't want ones. Drop the one circle and a nine bamboo. Uh, right, because this is a nine. I don't want that, do I? Yeah, no. Tra trash this. That's shit. And we've got a triple of four. There you go. So I can chi that. That's gonna, but that would, yeah. I've got to, I've got to look at what you said every time. She's completely sequenced by, yeah. That's a tile from the left. So we could make a. That's it's saying we can make a three, four, five out of that. But then that fox are triplet of fours. Uh. Yeah, I guess we can. If we get something good as well, we can. I guess we could discard one of our six bamboos because we've got our triplet. Uh, um, maybe do we want to do that, or do we want to hold on to it? Uh, two fours, two fives, and two sixes is a pure double sequence. More points. Okay. That's good. Okay. So... So, instead, what we could do is get rid of our... Well, can you do that with threes, or is it specifically two fours, two fives, two sixes? Uh, so we could aim for, like, pure doubles. Is this two who music? Does the silly mod add Tuhu music to Mahjong? Drop 8 bamboo. Okay, okay. I will do that. Uh, I will not do this. Uh, oh, there's a 9, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna follow your advice. Uh, I mean, we can't, uh, like, developing a sequence here, but it's a 9. I don't like 9s. Fuck that. Simples. Simple, sis. You chi again for a, a double? I don't want that. Uh, I gotta get used to counting these numbers. This is four, five, six, seven. That's that's four. Any double sequences give you extra points. Okay. Okay, so I could do like it, it's any combination of like sequential twos, uh, sequential doubles. I guess. Okay, that's good to know. A lot of the game is just memorizing that kind of shit. Uh, let's get rid of that. Maybe. Uh, that's a uh, that's uh, that's an eight. This is this is a, a becoming a sequence here. Kind of wish I'd hold on held on to some my uh, some more of these tiles, but whatever. So here here is the question now. You dropped the six bamboo. Fuck! <laughs> I'm bad at counting. I'm sorry. Yeah, I did. Uh, fuck. So I should I still drop the, the yeah? Because it's not doing anything for us right now. Get rid of it. 
It's not part of Oh, there you go. Reach you. Okay. Uh oh. Here we go. Uh, that's... That's... That's seven. That's seven. We have a sequence of three again. So again, that's like... More than just being told what I should do. My issue is I don't know what I need. Like, I don't know how far I am from making something that works. I don't know what I need. This is what... This is what I'm bad at. This is my struggle. Like, you're giving me advice that's too far ahead. Like... I mean, the advice is good. I won't. I won't question it. I, I mean, I assume it's good because I. D that's the issue, though. Is I don't know. Like I don't know. I don't know what I'm aiming for right now. I, you know, the the advice may be good, but I don't know how it benefits me. And I do want to actually learn the game. So just being told exactly what to do is good in the short term, but not in the long term. So like, what do I need that I don't have right now? Because, like, I've got a big a big sequence and a, a triplet. I guess... Hmm. Yeah, I've got, a, I've got a triplet. i got a sequence of three with these bamboos, plus the new one I just got. i got my triplet that I've got open. And I've got this sequence. So, like, what am I missing? It, it, that's, that's what I'm trying to ascertain. I, I, and it's always a big delay between asking and getting an answer. So I'm just I'm just rambling to myself because I don't I don't know what I need. That's why I don't I'm I get nervous about streaming Mahjong. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Mahjong in general makes me nervous. I guess I can look at what my opponents got here, but there's so much going on. It seems like I'm not getting an answer, so I don't know what to do. Uh I hmm. I mean, I'm just looking at the discards. Yeah, no one's discarded a four bamboo. So, presumably someone's got it. So we could get that and make a quad with it, maybe. That's definitely a possibility, I guess. But if someone's been holding on to it for that, that long, it might be because they're using it for something. Uh, which is always a concern. But I, I don't know what to get rid of. Your dots are one... 0.5 sequences, you need to turn it into one sequence and one pair. Okay, right, okay, okay. So, so, so my bamboos are fine. I should leave those alone. I need to work on the dots. So, it's just, oh well, I could look at the, again, look at the discards and see what people have already discarded and think about which of these is most likely to be uh, like to come up again. Well, four is never going to come up again because I see all three of the other ones in everyone else's discards. So we should get rid of that because we're not going to make a pair out of it, like guaranteed. And obviously, we want to, if we want to maintain the sequence, we should either take, you know, what it should be one of the ones that's on either end of the sequence. So let's get rid of that. Oh, there you go. Nice. <laughs> it worked out perfectly. Thank you for your advice. Let's fucking go! I Jung, I did it. That was cool. It feels good. I do like Mahjong, especially when I do it right. I got, I, I got one hand. It's not very much, but it's mine. It's my Jung. Right, let's continue. Decent, decent little bit of Jung. You need four threes and one pair. The threes can be sequences or triplets. That, yeah, that's the baseline. That's what I need to hammer into my head. That's exactly what I need. It's like, they, it doesn't exactly make that clear in my, my Yaku guide. Um, that's it. That's A win is a win. Points are points. Okay, so we've got... We, we don't want to, like, combine our dragons here. We've got, we, don't want, we don't want the north wind, so that can just go. But we've got many, many ones and nines to be rid of here. Crappy hand, but a crappy hand is better than no hand. Yeah, that's, that's the game. We work with it. That's a nine. I can make a triple of nines. I was fucking cringe, but I'm not going to do that. Um, there's a six. Uh, yeah, let's just focus. Get get rid of all this shit. <laughs> fucking full of ones and nines. Okay, we've got a rainbow of, of these here. I don't I don't really want those, but sure. Uh, we've got a south wind, which I don't want. Uh, I, like ha I was having east would be really good, wouldn't it? Because we're on it's like table east and seat east us right now can you double up on that that'd be pretty sick but uh we do not have that so away you go 
Well, it's not clear is that there are exceptions, like all pairs, but if you confuse, just focus on the normal hands. Right, yeah, that's, you, you're exactly right. That's where I'm trying to go, is just develop a baseline level of competence that relies on, you know, really simple play, but just establish that foundation and work from there. That's where I want to go. So I could, I could make that triplet. I'm not gonna. No, no strong reason. There's a triplet. Uh, right there with the two, three, and four. That's good. That, that, that's in the bag. We have that. One. You do double if you have C and round win. Okay. We don't have that, but it's good to know. Uh, we could chi that for a sequence. But I'm going to say no. I'm going to say no. Fuck nines. Fuck nines, bro. Get rid of that shit. Yeah, like, any, anyone looking at my discards, looking towards the future a bit, anyone looking at my discards would see this and be like, oh, they're going for all simples. But that's okay. Get rid of this. Uh, I don't, I don't want it. Hmm, that's okay. I'll hold on to it. Not a massive interest right now, but I'll hold on to it. Uh, no. Stop giving me, stop giving me ones and nines. Oh, God. It's not looking good. That's fine. So, uh, who, uh, uh, you're, you're doing Richie. Let's think about defense a little bit. Uh, <laughs> um, I don't know what it means that they've put down one tile sideways. I don't know what that is. I, I guess that, is that a Richie thing? Green Dragon is trash. Good to know. I'll try to remember that. Uh, I wasn't intending to use it, I just hadn't discarded it yet, because I got so much shit to discard. Two are already out, so you can't even get a triple. That's right, that's right. I, like I said, I was not intending to use it. I hadn't, I hadn't looked at the discards, you're absolutely right about that. I should have discarded it earlier. Uh, so let's get rid of it. <laughs> they, they just put down a five bamboo, which means that is probably safe. I could also take this for a thing. Maybe it would be a good idea to start taking, to start doing cheese and such. Since someone's in Richie now and that, that is dangerous. Perhaps this is the mindset. This is the mindset I should enter is to become, is to rush and become a, a bit more aggressive at least. When there's this dangerous position, when someone's got Uno. <laughs> um, do we want to do that? Uh... Let's do it. Okay, so I can choose... I can choose what thing I'm doing with this. I can... Yeah, I can do a... I can do a 3, 4, 5. Or I can do a 4, 5, 6. So... I'm gonna do that with a 3, 4, 5. Then I... Wait, no. Either either way, I'm, like, losing out on my triplet here. I can't back out of this now. Uh... It was a dumb decision. I am now realizing. Uh, that's okay, we've already got a pair, so that pair wasn't too important, was it? That's fine. Let's just do that. It's fine. Sometimes we just, you know, playing Mahjong is like being a dog. Sometimes you just do things arbitrarily. Sideways, just a Richie Marcus, we will know what round it started. Okay. You can never run a tile you discarded yourself. You can neither run a tile an opponent ha has discarded after you've reached you. Okay. Okay. Uh, Okay, right. Interesting. I will try to internalize that, but I might fail. Um, okay, this is good. We've still got this triplet now. So let's get rid of, let's get rid of the one. Uh oh, oh no. Uh oh, 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 shit. Ooh, that's a nice looking hand. All right, that's fine. That's fine. Ah. Uh, that's pretty good. It was the Patsu as well, which isn't isn't that when you like you reachy and then you get what you need instantly? That's, that's yeah, that's rough. But you see, three can steal triplets. You get you get points for that. That's the way it goes, though. That's junk. I say be a coward at the start. Not being greedy is a good habit. Yeah, I think that's definitely right. And then you know, like like I'm saying with the concealed stuff, if you're if you're playing more conservatively like that at the start, you can. Um, you know, you know, you can, you can potentially earn more points, but a any number of players being in Ricci is more of a, more of an uncertain situation. You don't know if, you know, 
if the game's gonna end right fucking now. You want fast and shitty hands if you're in the lead. Giga chat hands when you're losing. And stay safe when you're in the middle. Okay, that's a good way of thinking about it too. You gotta consider your current position as well, points-wise. Mm -hmm. That's good, that's good. So we're, we, I think we can play it safe right now. We are in the lead from one. Uh, no, we're not in the lead. We're in second from a mediocre win. But that's, that's okay. So I don't want that. I, I don't want nines. That's cringe. I don't like nines. Uh... We've got, well, we haven't got a sequence of pairs, but we've got a lot of pairs here. So I won't get rid of those nines immediately. And we've got this pair of dragons as well. Uh, okay, off you go then. And we've got that west wind, which you don't care for. Uh, yeah. Maybe we can get another six, that'd be pretty pog. Uh, that I've got, <laughs> I'm bad at counting. Four, five, six, seven. So we got a 7 and an 8 here. That's something. Uh, I guess we're just not doing bamboo. Uh, that's another one of those. That's another pair. Okay. Uh, I'm going to get rid of this too. I could have got rid of that 3 at the start as well. Oh, fuck! Jesus. I don't want that. Blistering pace. Uh, we could steal that, but that's a 9, which is cringe. Uh, that's a 1, which is cringe. Uh, that's a nine, which is cringe, but we do have nines. Uh, mm, no. May not be the smartest decision. I don't know. Um, we've got a seek. We've got it. Well, we've got a triplet there. We've got a triplet there. Hmm. Mm hmm. Hmm. I'm going to get rid of the three. We, we're not doing anything with that right now. Oh, not again. It's the same. No! Piss! Come on! <laughs> Let me play the game! It's the easy table! Richie Ipatsu again! It's not as bad this time, fuck me. And I don't lose any points. That's alright. This is fine though, this is fine. That's a lot of- that's a lot of wins! <laughs> uh, that's a lot of wins! I- I, I don't need these. I, I do not need these. We got a pair of nines. Uh, we've got two pairs of nines. Jesus Christ. Uh. Uh. Yeah. I'll hold. I'll get rid. Um. Get rid of that. Uh. I don't, don't want to make a triple of nines. Cringe. Uh. Hmm. Huh. I'm gonna. What am I gonna do? I gotta get rid of something here. I guess we can hold on to the east because we're we're table east right now. So I'll get rid of the. Oh, we kind of want the north. All triples? Mmm. We could. We could. I should have. I should have taken that nine if I was going for that. I should have. I should have gone for that. That would have been an interesting experience. Let's just get rid of some shit that's not triples. Mm. Not going to be the biggest brain play. See, triple. Oh. Nine. I've taken that from you. Um. Hmm. Okay. There's, uh, we're not, uh, <laughs> I'm not going for all the wins. Jesus Christ. Uh, or am I? <laughs> sure that's some, some manner of obscure hand. Just getting all the fucking wins. Uh, hmm. Well, we can get rid of the north because two, two of them are out, so we can't do a trip like that going well. It is. It is. It's going... I'm having a good time. I'm jogging. I'm having a fine time. Uh, oh, that's a pair with the other two we've got. Um, shall I get rid of the West? Shall I? I don't, I don't have a solid strategy with anything else that's going on here. I don't have a solid strategy. You know, full stop. That's, that's the way she goes. Um, get rid of that. I'm just doing some casual jogging. I'm not thinking too much about it. Fuck you. Get lost. Uh, oh, grab oh. <laughs> We're opening this fucking hand. Stop, stop having the hand be closed. Oh, oh, triple ones. <laughs> uh, okay. Weird, weird play. Uh, mm hmm. I want that. 
Okay, don't want that. Uh, I'm gonna get rid of the west because we also don't want that. A lot of things I don't want. Uh, don't want that. Uh, don't want that. Once it's open, might as well spread it all out. Yeah, why not? Why not? Once you've once you've opened Pandora's box. Well, hey, that's a double, so let's just hold on to that. Uh, don't want that. Okay. Uh, oh! Whoa. Triple! Okay. Okay, well, now I can only get rid of one of these, but, uh, sure. So, like, what do we want now? <laughs> like, what... What, like, what, what is, what is good enough now? Is a pair not good enough now? What do we, what do we go for here? Oh, I've got a thing, haven't I? No. Hmm. Have I got a... Yeah, there's all triplets. Four triplets and one pair, no sequences. Isn't that what this is? Do I, do I not, is this not it? That's for, that's for, uh... Oh, okay, I'll, I'll, whatever. I don't have many options anyway, so let's just go. It's a draw, okay. Don't know where that went wrong. Why wasn't that a run? I'm, I'm curious about that myself. I got some points out of it. I feel like it should... That's what it says on my Yaku chart. Is all triplets. You might have misclicked. Maybe? Maybe. Yeah, it, it could be that. I won't blame the game too hastily when I know so little about Jung. But I understood what I had there. So we have a sequence there. Um, hmm, 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 hmm. We have this pair of twos, which, uh, you know, that's a, a two, three, four, four, six. We can make some stuff there. There's potential triplets, there's potential sequences. I'm, I'm beginning to, to see the code now. It's making sense. Uh, hmm, I mean, that's a pair of ones. <laughs> I mean, it's cringe as that is. It's something. Uh, I'm gonna get rid of this. We'll play with what we've got. Uh, could steal that seven. Ooh, maybe. It's, it's, that's, that's the thing. Is it, I don't think it's going to be another situation like before where I'm choosing between triplets. Like, what, would I not be making a quad now? I can make a, I, I can make a sequence of five. You know, five, six, seven, eight, nine. But I'd, I'd be fine with that being a quad because it means I can get rid of the nine. So... No, this is making it. It's making a triplet. I don't get it. Uh, okay. Jeez. Okay, let's do that, and then we can get rid of the nine. I guess. Uh. Too many options open. The bamboos are good for that reason. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, don't have any need for that. It's coming together. Oh my god! Calm down. Uh. No. It's a pair. Oh, fuck! Let me play the game! Come on! That's Jong. That's fucking Jong. Stop re patsuing instantly! Come on! My points! Bro! Ah. Alright. We've got a West. We can start working on that. Uh, gotta get rid of myself then. What else we got here? We got a pair of threes, we got a pair of fours, we got a six, we got a seven. We've got an east. We can maybe hold on to that. Um, gonna get rid of this one. Um, we've got six, eight, and nine. Seven would be nice. The inevitable Mahjong soul stream against chat when? Uh, probably never, because I've got so many things I want to do. But I'm, de I, I'm probably going to be playing more Mahjong Soul on my own time at some point. Uh, right, let's get rid of that. Oh, Christ! Calm down! Please, for the love of God. Please, calm down. You know, I've got a pair of bamboos here as well. Um, do I want to hold on to my east? Uh, two of them have been discarded, so no. Fuck that. I'm playing smarter now. North? Uh, yes, oh. please. Uh, what do we discard? Um, might get rid of our nine, because that's the only thing keeping us from all simples. Is. Wait, do. Wait, do. do no, win, wins, wins don't count for all simples. Uh, yeah, like, wins disqualifies from all simples. Doesn't it? I'm fairly sure. Um, I still might get rid of it. 
Um, because... Uh, well, we could... Instead, we could get rid of, like, one of these, because this is, this is a potential quad right here, if we get a seven. Whereas this is just a potential triplet. Uh, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna get rid of one of them. Uh, we could take a triplet. It, it might be tight. It, you know, we're playing, oh. playing a bit riskier now. And we'll get rid of that, and we just hope for a seven. Uh, uh, mm, that's a triplet. Um, I'm just gonna wait for a seven. I don't know if that's a smart thing to do, but it's what I've decided to do. I'm gonna stick with it. I should look around for sevens. Have there been sevens discarded also? Um, no, I don't see any. So they're out there somewhere, waiting for me to get them. There's an eight. Hmm. The fourth, I had the fourth west. Oh, not a, it's always these two. These fuckers. Give me a seven. They're using it. They've got to be using it. Give me a fucking seven. Fuck! Come on! Come on! It's these two! It's always those two. They both fucking reachy concealed hands. Seven pairs! Jesus! Fuck me. We're getting kind of blown away here. Easy AI, by the way. Well, this is where it, we're still in second, but... Oh, is that it? Is that the end of the game? Your next Mahjong lesson, look at the four tiles above your name tag. Those are the Dora markers. Right, yeah, I was taught about those. I've been thinking about them too much. Um, a stack of ten tiles in a small wall. The tile one up from a Dora indicator is called a Dora and gives you one hand's worth of score. When in Ricci, the tiles underneath the visible Dora indicators are flipped become Dora indicators themselves, allowing you for even more albeit random score. Okay, that's a lot to take in, but I do know, I, I do know about Dora, because I've done stuff with that before. Like, I did, I did a Dora thing in my really good hand when I played Mahjong Soul that one time. Um, let's move on, let's move on. We've been going for an hour now. I, I would like to do more Mahjong. I'm honestly in the mood for more Mahjong, but I have so many things I need to do. We, we have a lot to do today. I did a bit of jonging. I will do more jonging in my off time. In fact, I might, if if I feel like it, I might do some of the jong off stream in uh, in Zero and Kiwami One, maybe. But I I definitely feel like, however little I did gain something from doing that, that was some a, a good little bit of experience, some good advice given there, some good thinking. On my part, de a little bit okay thinking. I kind of got fucked by, by the AI a little bit, it felt like, but uh, that's Mahjong! It's like, it's like Dark Souls, you know? Welcome to Mahjong. Right, and get rid of that guide off my screen as well now. Hold on. There you go. You, if you reach it, you get to explore the door. Oh, the camera's being weird again. <laughs> get to explore the door. How good. Right, we don't need to get into a fight here, because we can just go in through the back door. As such is the privilege of a experienced batter. So, I, I don't know what it is we need to do uh, to get this sub-story to show. It's something to do with baseball, and the other one is something to do with golf. I, I don't know what exactly. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Uh, so, what do I need to do for these sub-stories to show up? Hold on. Kiwami 2 baseball sub-story. What do? Uh, baseball gun? I mean, I just want the sub-story. Wait, there's different bats? Uh-oh. Wait. The serene bat roughly doubles the size of your hit mark and relaxes the timing positioning required for a home run. Ah, but using it will grant you only 0.7 times the number of reward points. Doesn't affect the prize you receive for completing the challenge course. Expert bat roughly halves the size of your hit marker. Makes timing harder. You need to position your indicator slightly down to the right of the center of the box. Hit a home run off a screwball, for instance. Increases reward points. That's interesting. Yeah, what about the sub-story? Oh, how do I get that? How do I unlock it? That's what I want to know. Uh... Oh, just play three home run challenges in the batting center. No need to even win them. Uh, and then guy pops up and this is hard. Okay. Okay. Need to farm 
200, you need to have to farm 200 points by doing home run courses or the regular slash easy slash expert ones. Even with that special bat, it's still a pain though. See, this is what this is why I had to stop because God knows what we're gonna run into, what difficulties there's gonna be. So maybe we want to go for the good bat. How do we get that? What's what's your deal? We I have not fucked with this. Uh, so this is what we need to do. To okay, we exchange. There's a point exchange. Okay. Okay. So what can we get? Right, the serene bat. That's what we want. So we want 200 points, and I do want these primers as well, but... Okay, at least this is seems relatively cheap compared to other stuff. So, I guess we'll do some batting with you? I I, I don't think I even tried the batting in this, so I, it might be different, actually. Maybe? Or maybe I did, like, ages ago. So I remember talking about how the controls on PC for the batting worked in Zero. I've taught once you clear all the advanced challenges. Oh, shit. Okay. Uh, is this the advanced challenges? Or do I have to do the home run courses? Or wait. This is complicated. Uh, was this all, is this all the same? Or are these different difficulties? This was different difficulties before. And then you had, like, the gold stuff. Who are you? Um, UFO catcher? Oh, there's a UFO catcher here. What the fuck? Huh? Huh. Oh, I've not seen those dogs before. Huh. Okay. Baseball, you know jack shit about. You'll get no humongous random lesson posts from me. I'll figure it out. Honestly, this feels more complicated than Mahjong right now. Sorry, what do you- what do you- I guess we gotta do the challenge courses. What did you say to me again? Clear all the advanced challenges. So we wanna do challenge course? Okay, so we'll see how this controls. I have the normal bat. Okay, so I need to do a, I need to get up to, uh, to advanced. Okay, you'll face only fastballs. That's good. I like how shitty this machine is. Okay, this is different. What the hell? Yeah, look at like this whole screen up there. Could Less advancement. What, what the fuck? Oh. Okay, this is completely different. We didn't have any kind of indicator before. Now they just tell you where you need to aim and when you need to hit. Holy shit, this is so easy compared to Zero. It's fantastic. Why didn't I do this sooner? Hell yeah. Ideal. There you go. See if we can go for a perfect game. I mean, we're not, we're only playing with fastballs, but you know. And they've got like the screen of the guy throwing the ball. That's a really nice touch. There you go. That's halfway. I imagine this might get like faster and harder. If the especially if there's apparently need to use the serene bat. Oh, right there? Well, I can do that. No problem. Okay. Oh shit! Ah, not a perfect game. Uh Oh, now, now it's late. Oh, did I get it anyway? I did. Eh, this is good enough. That's good enough for me. That's fine. No problem. Challenge complete, baby. We, uh, yeah, we got points for that. Not much. But yeah, getting us, getting us through these will at least get us towards getting the Serene Bat if we end up needing it. This is fun. I should have prepared for this, but oh well. Uh, so I guess we just gotta do all of the beginners to get the intermediates. So we'll just grind our way through it. This is what late game Yakuza is like. Okay, so how... I, I didn't read the description. Oh, it moves! Oh, fuck that! Okay. Where are you gonna go? Okay, now I gotta have some fucking reaction time. Oh, boy. Oh, but okay, you've gotta... You've gotta prepare for anything. Oh, Christ. Yeah, we know if it's outside the square, it's gonna move. Ah, oh, shit. Hmm. But if it's inside, it might not. Ah, oh, fuck! Oh, no. Okay, now I maybe understand the need for the green bat. Oh. Okay, okay. It's just reflexes, which I'm not good with, really. But, you know. 
Okay, that's something. It doesn't need to be a home run. A dub is a dub. We only needed to get three points, apparently, so that's fine. It's just the beginner challenge. It's practice. Now it's become stressful, though. Oh, fuck. Oh, I pressed way too early. Fuck. All right. We cleared it, though. It's fine. Kiryu's a winner. It's fine. Yeah. We, yeah, we don't get scored differently based on performance. It's just you get a clear score plus your multiplier, uh, multiplier based on the bat. Okay, and again, challenge course. Normal bat, beginner three, send me in. I should have read I should have read the description again. So I get to know, like that was a curveball that we just had, right? Now they're gonna introduce a new thing, I think. Oh, yeah, that was a curveball. Nice, that was a sinker, okay. It's kinda, it just, you know, all you need to know is it moves. That's fine. We need a score of five. I think we can do that. Oh, whiff! Come on, that should have hit. See? How is that different to the last game? I got a home run. Maybe the timing. Okay. Yeah, the less I panic, the better I'll be at hitting these with the right timing as well. The, po the positioning isn't that big. The, the timing has a big effect. There you go. See? Let's panic. Let's panic. We've hit the required score. Nice. Very clean. Okay. I predicted where it was going to go. I'm getting better. It was only a triple, but only a triple is pretty good. All right. All right. Yeah, sinkers are kind of like curveballs, but they're not. Okay, clear all beginner batting challenges. Oh, boy. I wonder what we're going to have to do for golf. I'm worried about that. Okay, so intermediate now. So, yeah, let's look at that. That was fastball and curveball. This is curveball and sinker. Okay, score three or more in ten runs. You face breaking balls that curve slightly. Two seam, one seam, cutter, splitter. I don't know what that means. Slider, fork ball, shoot. Curveball, change up, sinker. What the fuck? Baseball's scary. It's very, very advanced compared to batting in zero. I like it. Okay. Okay. A cutter like shifts very quickly. But not very far. Okay. I'm not going to be able to memorize all this. Ah, oh, fuck. So one seamer is like a cutter, but diagonal? Okay. I'm, I'm worried about what the home run challenge is going to be. And, like, the sub-story as well. Oh! Okay. Hit to hit. Nice. That was, like, way off target. But I guess it's very generous for that. It, it is more about the time. Yeah, see? Timing I can do, especially when I've got an in a nice little indicator like this. A high fi rush timing indicator. Nice! He's yes. a bit of a baseballer. He's a little bit of a baseballer, you know. That's just how it is. Oh, that's a baseball! Thank you. 30 points now. We're crawling. Oh, uh, well, I don't. Why am I going like, ooh, the most worthless salad item. Why do I care about that? Okay. At least I'm getting, uh, hopefully, yeah. Well, I'm, well, I can use the money to fund more baseball, I guess. Yeah, three. Yeah, the breaking balls that curse line are three types of breaking ball. So they're introducing the shoot. Here, I guess. I imagine when we're we're doing the hardcore shit that we need to do, it's gonna be like, oh, we're gonna throw everything at you. It's gonna be insane. Cut to the okay. Yeah. Now I know I don't need to move as much, so I can focus more on the timing. Uh, and then fuck it up, but not too badly. Like, Loving the strike. Oh, that was just a fastball. Okay. 
The power of a fastball when you don't know what they're gonna do. Oh, fucking whiff. The timing, man. The timing. Okay. Okay. Where are you going? It's right there. Let's go. Home run, baby. That's big points. That gets us there. There's still the whole base mechanic. I didn't even notice the, the indicator for the bases by the score. But it is there. So you can, you can rack up points that way. Yeah, it's fairly obvious where ones like that are going to be. Like the direct center of the adjacent square. But yeah, you can, you can tell what kind of movement it's going to uh, make based on its initial position. That's good. Fucking Kiryu just throws the bat behind him, blinding someone who's walking by. Okay, we're already halfway towards the Serene bat. That bodes well. Okay, challenge course. Normal bat. It's like darts, how you could get different darts in the previous games. Okay. Didn't read the description again, but it'll be fine. Yeah, starting out normal, are we? Feeling daring today. Oh, fuck. I shouldn't have made fun of him. That was a change-up. Like a very quick, long distance movement. Oh, that was just a ball. Oh, okay, right. I, I need to stop making assumptions now. There we go. Stop making assumptions. You know what they say about oh, about assumptions? Makes an ass out of me and you. Stop, Stop making assumptions. Stop. Right this instant. There you go. I mean, you can make assumptions, but don't mechanically enforce the assumption. Oh, it's way too early. It was perfect if it wasn't too early. At least we got enough points. Oh, where's that going? Here are you. Okay, we just got enough points there. There we go. We're developing habits, refining our habits, developing bad habits and getting rid of them. Okay, that's all the intermediates. I assume, yeah, I assume batting was not going to be as complex as this. I didn't think it'd have a progression. Okay, score seven or more runs in ten pitches. Face pitches that break horizontally. Okay. We haven't failed one yet. I really shouldn't have said that. Because I, I might just fail. I cannot skip this intro cutscene. Even though it doesn't last very long. But, you know. Okay. Decent start. Okay. Okay. That's two on the board. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm, yeah. Another two on the board. Yeah. He's beginning to believe. No. That one felt good. This is quite fun. Way better than Zero. Zero's was miserable. It was, it was just arcane, fi figuring out, because I'd have to, like, stare at a very specific part of the bat to figure out where I'm, you know, see where I'm supposed to look, and then, like, hit the bat. Oh, damn. Just as he stops wiggling the bat, this, the whole timing part is taken care of for you, which I appreciate way more. There we go. We did it. We're good. No problem. I did not get jinxed. I would never. Right, we're nearly there. One more challenge and I can get the Serene bat. I guess we'll we'll try whatever... Well, we've got to do the home run thing. I might equip the Serene bat for that. Just see how it performs. For reference. Okay, fork ball split a change up. Okie dokie. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm a gamer. <laughs> Good. Yes. Starting out strong with a homer. Okay, that's also good. Like, hits are hits. 
Progress on bases is a dog. Oh, fuck. That's, that's a failure. That's what we call an L right there. That's good. See how far off the, the ball I was, though, positionally. Just the time. Oh, fuck. See? Like, you've just got to get the ball to overlap at least a little bit. And, you know, the Serene Bat makes that sweet spot better, apparently. Oh, oh, what am I doing with my time in here? I don't, I don't think we can even make enough points anymore. <laughs> okay. Mm. Oh. Uh, oh, I just about did it. Oh, hold it back from the brink. Holy fuck. Scary. There you go. We can get the serene bat now if we want. We got an app stim. Good. Uh, nice. Uh, challenge course. Advanced three. I think this is the last one we have to do. To to do the the challenge that we need to do. To even unlock the sub story. Such a process. Okay. Okay, okay. Nothing wrong with a hit. Nothing wrong with a hit. Okay. That's two points in. Okay, no homers yet, but points are points. Oh, fuck. Are these all diagonals? I think they might be. Oh, my God. Here are you. Come on, man. Oh, fuck. Oh, it's looking very bad. Mm. There's a homer. On a very difficult movement, too. Uh, we can get it if I do it perfectly. Oh, well, <laughs> there you go. I was making assumptions again. That's what did me in. I made uh, an ass out of myself and you. I don't know. That was a learning experience. That's our first baseball failure. Oh, seeing Kiryu sad like that reminds me. I, um, you know, with Gaiden having come out. Oh, I get points for that regardless? Okay. Um, I, I've, I've seen, like, yeah, I was saying I'd seen a, uh, a character who was relevant to something from Zero. Um, and I've seen there's, like, new, a lot of new animations. There's, like, a new animation for, uh, having failed pocket circuit, which is fucking hilarious. It's, like, way better than the old one. <laughs> he's, like, he's, he, yeah, you've probably seen it. He's, like, you know, clapping for the winner, and then he turns just for a second. He's, like, oh, damn it. Oh, fuck. It's really good. It, like, catches that feeling perfectly. I don't think I've seen the win animation yet, if, if that's new. I don't know. Um... I know there's 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 some good shit. I, well, because like with Gaiden, there's a demo for eight as well included with it, which is really cool. Um, but for some reason, they decided to include a lot of content in the files that is not part of the demo, including like all the soundtrack of the game, a lot of the soundtrack of the game. So you've heard a lot of that, and I don't remember if it's in Gaiden or if it's one of the files we got from eight. Uh, but there's like, there's Bakumitai 2, basically. It is one of the new songs. There's, there's some really good karaoke shit in there. There's one, uh, Honolulu Lights, I think it's called, or something like that. It's really good. Um, but like, Gaiden, it's not a karaoke song. Like, one of Gaiden's, like, main songs. Um, uh, I think it's called I'm Fading Away is really good. Just a really fucking good track. All in English, by the way. A really fucking good track. Like every everything about Gaiden seems to be fucking fantastic from what I've seen. Except for Young Gay as Kiryu, but I'm not gonna play the dub, so I don't care. <laughs> I just think it's funny. So they got this guy who's like probably not really a good fit for Kiryu. And then we see him in the role, and like, yeah, he's not a good fit to cure you. Oh god, who could have seen this coming? Okay, let's focus up now. There we go. Three points on the board. Yeah, that is how it works. Oh, too early. Too early. 
We can put our ball outside of the board there, so I can just, I can just track the movement. I was under the assumption that you couldn't do that for some reason. Okay. It's definitely harder to hit homers, for sure. Oh, there you go. You ever even done any voice acting? Uh, not that I know of, but I haven't been following his career. Like, I stopped caring about Yonge the moment Metal Gear Solid 5 came out. That was all I was following for, was news on that. And it was like, yeah, okay, whatever. But yeah, he hearing him... Because, like, the I think the guy who was cast... Like, the guy who played... Because Kiryu is in Like a Dragon. He's in Yakuza 7, even though he's not the main character. He's in it. So he's dubbed, because Seven had a dub. Um, and I'm fairly sure... I, I think... I think it's the same guy who voiced him in the dub of one. I think. Maybe. But... I, I don't know why, but they had to, they decided to go with someone else. I don't know why. That could be any number of reasons, even potentially on the voice that decide. I don't know. Um, but why Young Ye, of all people? That's that's part of the struggle with dubbing Yakuza to me, I think. And Chris Liza, hello. Thank you for the handshake. I hope you're having a very lovely day. Um, and I hope you've been doing cool stuff. I don't know what more I should... I, I'm, I'm, the handshake protocol is new. I want to say lots of nice things to people when they when they use it. Um, but hello. Came here to say hello. I, I appreciate you saying hello. It's always nice to have someone say hello. It's good to see you. Um, yeah, I'm just talking about weird Yakuza dub stuff. Um, obviously, I'm, I don't... I, gen generally, in media in general, not, just, not even just Japanese media, I prefer to play with the original dub. That's me being weird. I don't know if it's even weird. But that's because of my preferences towards adaptation in general. I feel that the more processes and translations and localizations you have to make, even when it's not just localization or dubbing, like when it's, you know, adapting a manga to an anime or a novel to, to something else, I don't know, anything like that. I feel like you tend to lose something in the process, you know, which is why I like the original media wherever possible. Uh, kind of, yeah, that is the dub where people are mad at a voice actor. You know, who knows? It, it, it's hard to even say who to cast blame at. You know, I don't. I didn't think from the start that Young Ye was a good fit for Kiryu. Not really having like a very strong voice to match fucking Takeo Kuroda. Um, but it, it it could it could be up to him. It could be up to the voice direction. You know, you, that's something you gotta consider with voice work in general. Is a lot of issues are with direction. Like, you, you can look at some things that I love, for example, like the, the goofy-ass voice acting in Resident Evil 1, or like Silent Hill and Silent Hill 2, especially. And that's not on the voice actors. Uh, another good example of this is with Devil May Cry as well, where Dante has always had the same voice actor. Not in the reboot, but I'm not talking about that. Uh, but Dante has always had the same voice actor, Ruben Langdon. And... Depending on the game, he gives a very different performance as Dante. Like, you could very easily be convinced, if you didn't know, that he was being played by a different voice actor. But I think it comes down to direction and what they allow to pass. Because, you know, the more egregious examples, like Resident Evil and Silent Hill, come down to, like, the these are Japanese developers who are doing English voice direction. So, it, it, it's not necessarily going to sound right. Uh, to an English speaker, what they think sounds right as an English line. Um, but I think what it... Obviously, that's not the case with this because, it, you know, we, we've, we've moved forward now with that. You don't have uh, weird, jank, janky English dubs like that now. But now it's more like, you know, presumably he auditioned, right? And they accepted his audition. And they were like, we, we are... They made the decision to cast him. And then, you know, they had him do voice work for the character. And they heard that voice work. And they, and they, they're the ones who decided, you know, management, whoever actually makes the decision on that, said, like, yeah, this is, the vo this is the voice of Kiryu. We accept this. This is what we're putting in the game. Thumbs up to that. But I, I think more of the burden lies there, regardless of, you know, Young Ye's qualities of a, as a voice actor. And I, I don't like the idea of him as a voice actor either. I'm on both sides with this. But, yeah, I think one of the main issues as well with casting a dub, especially for Yakuza, is that we're talking about, you know, if, because, for example, right, 
I've been I've been looking into this recently. There's the dub for the Judgment games, you know, Judgment and the Last Judgment, and that is a cast of completely new characters. And you know, those games had dubs like out the gate. Um, what I've heard is that the dub of Judgment and the Last Judgment are really good, but they're not established characters. Is my point, you know? When you're casting for characters like Kiryu or Majima, and I, I know a lot of people thought Majima's voice in uh, in Seven was really weird in the dub as well, because it's it's just not Majima. <laughs> but you know, you you it, it's very difficult to find someone who matches up to such iconic voices, which is why I would say don't even bother with it. But but you know, it's not gonna bother me. Okay, we did it. Uh, also. Hitchtype mystery, but well, I don't think we need to do that now. Isn't that enough to do the home run course or whatever now? And then we can actually get the- Oh! Oh! Okay. Oh, we didn't need to do the home run thing, we just needed to do that. So, I guess that means we only needed to do three of those. So we did three times as much work as we needed to. But I enjoyed the baseball. Uh, but pump the brakes, pal! Cool. Hmm? I'm talking to you. Yeah? Sorry for breaking your stride like that, man. I'm Bob Dandy Johnson, a pitcher from the American Major Leagues. Oh, wow. You're a pro, huh? Living the American dream. Oh, boy. This is my wife, Chiemi. Isn't she just the cutest little bond birdie you've ever seen? It's our American store. Oh, Dandy. You're so good at making me blush. Anyway, it's nice to meet you, sir. So, you got a name? It's Kiryu. <laughs> Don't mind how cool I'm dressed. Kiryu -san. Good to meet you, Kiryu san. So, what's a foreign pro baseball player doing here? It's off season right now, so me and Chiemi took a hop over to the big old Pacific Pong to kick it with her family. Makes sense. I've been practicing in the cages to keep my game sharp, but I craved more. That's when I saw that killer swing of yours. Yeah. I don't think I'd be much of a match for you. That's what you're getting at. So, not true. You got some serious oomph from those biceps. Just gotta give your skills the old spit shine and you'll be golden. Like a golden baseball guard. How about this? I'll hurl ten balls your way. If you can knock five home runs out of the park, you win. If not, I win. Alright. We need to hit half of these perfectly. <clears> hmm. <throat> hmm. And if you win, I'll give you a dandy special autograph ball. And I give up my John Hancock often. So they're super rare. Is that a... Is that a turn of phrase? That's not one I know. But if you lose, you gotta pay up to the order of 10,000 yen. The high stakes are gonna kindle the fire of competition real good. So, that's not very much money. Um, sure. A little baseball never hurt anyone. We'll see how we do with the basic flat. And if we fail, I'll buy the serene one. Uh. Alright, I'll take you on. Well, baseball never hurt anybody after all. <laughs> Flashing back to Kiwami 1. Majima getting hit by the baseball. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm talking about, Kiryu-san. Let's chase our dreams to baseball starter. Mind asking Yoshida-san if we borrow the cages for a bit, Chiemi? Oh, Nara, hello. Thank you for the stretch and the pet. Uh, I'm in the wrong tab as well because I was tabbing around so much. Fuck, trying to figure out how to do this sub-story. There we go. Uh, really got to work on that. And a coolant. Okay. Let's do a big proper stretch, though. Uh, this is the first one of the day. Uh, infinite pet. No! You will not get the infinite petting glitch. Oh, god damn it! I left my coolant downstairs again. Oh, fuck's sake. Hold on. I keep doing this. I hadn't done it in a little bit. Uh, where's my BRB text? There it is. Right. One second. I need to- I need to go refill my coolant because I'm stupid! One second. Okay, right. Sorry about that. Oh, I've, it's a really bad habit. So I go and refill my coolant, 
and then I go and do like something else before I go and, and take my coolant into the, the inner sanctum of the hideout. Uh, but then I just end up forgetting about it because my memory's terrible, so I just leave it there for God knows how long. Um, anyway, I'll have my coolant now. Thank you again. Mm. Right, let me get rid of that text. There we go. Right, anyway, baseball. Yes. Not at all. Just give me a sec. Okay, normal bat. We'll see how devilish it is. There he is. Okay, got double pitches. That's not a home run. Now anything but a home run is a failure, so not good. Oh, it was a fastball. Oh, fuck. I'm going to tweak the volume a bit as well. I don't know. Need to, need to do more sound tests. I'm garbage. Garbage streamer. Oh my, what the freedom fastball? The devil ball. Holy fuck. That's not a home run. Right, I better get five real soon. What the fuck is that American dream? Fuck off with that. I'm going to get the new bat. Oh, oh no, this is evil. Hey, there's one. At least we... A good thing is we don't care about the point penalty we get from the serene bat. Soaring eagle. <laughs> They're so fast. They got such effects on him. Ah, huh. oh, fuck. American dream for a British person just historical salt. Uh... Oh! Yes. Fuck. Okay, we got one. One out of five. My money. Jesus Christ. Guess I went a little too wild Jackson on you. Sorry about that, Curious Sand. I knew this would happen. I mean, yeah, you're a pro. And we're gonna win with that sour grapes attitude, buddy. That'll be ten grand. Come back when those grapes are a little sweeter, yeah? <laughs> I want grapes too, Dandy. Oh, well, maybe some yakiniku. Okay, time to buy the bat. Erica just watched me get folded. View prizes, please. Yeah. Uh, not the expert bat. That's the one that makes it harder. The serene bat. There you go. Yes, thank you. All right. That will help. Yeah, dandy special. Yeah, baseball. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, serene bat. It's nice and blue. Hmm? Oh, yeah. The ball, ball's <laughs> mega big now. Holy shit. <laughs> I didn't think it'd just make the, the ball PNG bigger. Okay. I don't remember if there was a timing element to the, the difficulty adjustment, too. Oh, fuck that one. Jesus Christ. Oh, no. No good. Reacted way too early. I'm, I'm expecting, like, the really quick ones now. Oh, that was nearly a home run on the American Dream. Nice. That's three. Mm. Nice. That's four. One more. Soaring back. Very good. Oh, fucking soaring eagle. That one is evil as hell. Yeah, that's five, baby. Eat shit. I got a magic bat. That was the last... Was that the last chance? Or does it just automatically end when you get five? I guess it does. No. That was out of this world, Kiryu-san. <laughs> so incredible. I'm honestly surprised myself. I guess anything's possible if you put your mind to it. <laughs> I knew you had it in you, Kiryu-san. And here's your reward. The Dandy Special. My first name scrawled on the front. Enjoy. Cool, Bob. <laughs> this isn't the peak for you, though. I want to see you reach the highest point so you can match me blow for blow. It's advice time, baby. Chiami, go. She's got the advice? Hmm? Uh. Okay. Chiami's the batting coach for my team. She's like a goddess with a bat in her hands. Let me tell you. Oh, cool. She's your coach? 
Oh, dandy. I'm not a goddess. Anyway, let's begin. Uh, Kiryu-san. I guess you can't judge a book by its cover. Hmm. Okay, do we actually get anything from this? Thanks, Jamie. I should help me get an even more power out of my swing. Is it, is it, does it make me better with bats? <laughs> really are a fast learner, Kiryu-san. It's incredible watching you work. I'll be back for revenge someday. Keep your game sharp till then, Kiryu-san. <laughs> Looking forward to it. And don't worry, I'll be ready. Mm. Gonna hold you to that. Anyway, we got a flight to catch. Nothing but love for you, man. Bye bye An American Major Leaguer and his wife, the buying coach. I guess all's well that ends well. Yeah, it's a, a nice little sub-story. With some devilish baseball moves. Yeah, no, we don't get like a prime or anything. Interesting. We just got we just got the ball. Where is it? Uh, is it in valuables? I mean, it would be valuable. Yeah, look at that. A side ball from the American Baseball Pro. Dandy Bob Johnson. Uh, shouldn't it be the other way around? If Bob is his actual first name, shouldn't it be Bob Dandy Johnson? That's, that's not how that works, right? A sign that he recognizes me as his rival. Uh, that's fun, though. Right, so now we need to go back to Sotenbori. And we need to do some golf. I need to figure out what we need to do for the golf substory as well. Uh, hold on. Let me look that up while we're at it. Uh, golf substory. Because we did, I did do a little bit of golf. Albatross Akagi substory. Let's see. Uh, so what do we actually have to do? How can I unlock the substory? Yeah. The baseball, clear every beginner challenge course, yeah. Uh, with golf, you have to complete the intermediate closer to the pin course and he will appear. Uh, you only need to beat the beginner one. I don't know how many points you need. Then you will unlock the intermediate one. You need to beat intermediate with 300 to 400 plus. I recommend you check, check out Sir Z's guide, as I always do, yeah. Uh, what do you got? What do you got? Um... Uh, where are the sub stories on here? I should have had all this prepared, but I didn't because I was busy doing bounce emissions, which I really didn't need to do, but it was fun. Where's the sub stories in here? I can I can go to the golf page. Yeah, golf center page. Uh where are the sub stories? There it is, sub stories. Do you have anything? Oh, oh, okay. For the courses, it tells you exactly what to aim for on the challenge courses for golf. Oh, that's really handy. So I was trying to figure that out. Ah. Uh. Yeah, let me look up the sub story. Yeah, Albatross Akagi's challenge. Complete the intermediate closer to the pin challenge. You'll see a dressed up fellow on the back left. Challenge you to beat 290 points on the advanced course. I would, of course, practice as much as you can. Use my strategies in that section of the guide. And you'll get a club. Okay. Right. So we need to do intermediate close to the pen. All right. So let's head to the taxi. We'll make our way there. I'll kill anyone who gets in my way. Oh, hey. It's you. I get you as a thing. There you go. Thanks. He's silver. Not even reading that shit. I don't care. Oh, it despawned the guys I wanted to murder. Oh, my bloodlust. Oh, there's some guys, but I'm at the taxi now, so I don't care. Sotenbori! Gotta love Sotenbori. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna have to uh, do a whole pop-out chat situation again. Uh, hold on, hold on. Oh, we span. Uh, yeah, I wanna, I wanna be able to look at chat, but I also need to see the uh, my little cheat sheet. There we go. Perfect. Okay. Okay, so it's, again, it's advanced closest to the pin, which I think is what I'm looking at on the guide. Uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. Coming through. Don't care for anything that might get in my way. Though there are often, like, enemies coming out of the, uh, out of the golf place. So that might happen again. Oh, uh, yeah, see? There's always fucking, oh. Oh, they don't care. I guess because other guys are aggroed on me. That's fine. Hello. 
I would like to do closer to the pin. He, I would like to do intermediate. And that is that is the one I'm looking at, right? Closest to the pin? Yes. Okay. Alright. So I know exactly what I need to do here. I need to aim for the right edge of the green circle. Uh, how do these controls work again? Do I have like a... Hmm. Okay. Right edge of the green circle. So I just aim from here? At that? Or... We're not talking about my aim thing, are we? Oh wait, no, we are talking about my aim thing. No, so we're obviously we're going for a fucking as close as we can get to hole in one. So we aim right down the middle, and the green circle is my my power control thing. Um, so right edge of the green circle, midway between seventy five and hundred. But wait, uh, is it? Wait, huh? Wait, I don't get it. <laughs> I, uh. There's not, there's not a button to look... Oh, cause, it's because we got wind. That's why. Right edge of the green circle. But I can't see. Is the... Hold on. Let me restart. Do we get like an overview of the shot when we start? Because I was looking at the guide. Yeah, closer to the pen. Intermediate. No, we don't get like a look at it. I can barely see the green circle. Like, is, is the green circle the innermost one or the outmost one? It looks like it's surrounded by circles. Okay, I'm going to try like this, and we'll just see what happens. Right edge of the green circle, midway between 75 and 100. Okay. That's a bit too far. But that was perfect. Uh, okay, the outermost one is the green circle. That, that was way too far. Come on! Okay. It's fucking chickens? Right, number two. Left edge of the yellow circle. I can't make out the circles. This isn't useful. Uh, halfway between 25 and 50. Yeah, I keep overshooting! Uh, points is points, I guess. Might take a few attempts to do this. How many points is that? 30? We need, like, 300 to 400. Uh, center of middle chicken barrier. Just above 50. Okay. Just above 50. How's that? Can I get a good shot? Uh, no. No, it's out. Fuck! That too far? How much is just above, bro? This guide. I I, I love Cyrix Z and his guides. They've they've done me a lot of good over the course of these games, but this is very vague. And I can't fucking see the circles. Like that that is not a good guide post. Um uh, aim at the left side of Saturn, just above 75 yards. Okay, is that like at the rings or the planet or okay. Just under 75. We're gonna hit a good shot with this guide eventually. It's gonna be sick. No! That was dog shit! And I definitely did exactly what I was told that time. Hmm. Okay. Straight at pin, just past 25 yards. Fuck. Hmm. Oh, there we go! It finally worked. We got 200 points. Okay, we only need, like, 300, so... A couple of shots like that will do it. Okay. So, straight at the pin, just past 50. Okay. Oh, that's exactly on 50. Oh! No! The chickens! Fuck! Shit. Okay. Aim at left middle of Saturn, just under 75 yards. Okay. I'll say like there, just past 75, right? Uh, yeah, ju no, just under 75 yards. Okay, how's that? That was pretty close to what I was asked. Ooh, oh, oh, yes. sunk it. I got a completion point for that. Okay, aim at the rump of the sheep, three uh, quarters of the way between 75 and 100. The rump. Directly at the rump. Okay. Between 75 and 100. Right, right. Three quarters of the way. Maybe a bit too much. Uh. Oh. Yeah, those little mistakes make so much difference. Yes. The rump of the sheep. Okay. The sheep's head. Halfway between 25 and 50. Okay. Nice. Uh, nope. Not great. 
But we're, I think we, you know, I mean, we're over the threshold, yes. definitely, if the threshold is correct. Uh, center of the UFO, halfway between 50 and 75. All right. <laughs> oh, maybe perfect. See if this works perfectly, but then it doesn't. It's shit. It's unreliable. Mm. Yes. I hope it's not a frame rate thing, because I installed a patch for, like, frame rate affecting physics issues. But anyway, new record and a black shaft club. Cool. So the guy should be here now? I think. Hopefully. Wonderful shooting, sir. Well done. Someone of your skill level should have no trouble with the advanced challenge. It'll be available the next time you come by. Okay. Good. Ah, there he is. And now, yeah, he's going to have us do the advanced course. That's some fancy driving there, buddy. Hmm. Hmm? Who are you? Name's Akagi. Sorry for hollering at you. Can't help myself when I see a fine swing like that. I was a pro back in the day, you see. Folks called me Albatross Akagi. It was impossible to bring me down. It's a shame I couldn't make an Akagi joke during the whole Mahjong bit, but oh well. Yeah. Mm. I've never heard of you. <laughs> Not surprised. You don't look like you're from here. But, uh, you're from here, buddy. You do hit mean drive, though. What's your name? I'm Kiryu. Well, Kiryu Han, how about a little friendly competition? You might not know this, but I designed one of the courses here. Ah, oh, that's cool. The expert level closer to the pin challenge. Tough as freaking nails, if I say so myself. I made the damn thing, and I can't top 290. Okay, if we get similar results as to what we just got from the guide, we should be able to beat that. With a swing like that, though, it might happen. What do you say, Kiryu Han? I'll give you something good if you beat my score. A challenge, huh? Oh, and I'm gonna have to charge you a fee each round. A thousand yen. This is a pro-level experience, after all. Uh, okay. Uh. I mean, that's what it costs to play normally, so... I, are you just pass passing that over to the receptionist, or what? Let's see how you do, Kiryu Han. Remember, gotta get 300 points or more. Excuse me? What happened to your high score being 290? Where'd those extra 10 come from? Why are you rounding up, you piece of shit? Whatever. Okay, right. Straight at the pin. Three quarters between 75 and 100. Okay. Oh, that's a bit much. Mm. Hey! Good start. Okay, we only need one more good hit. And we've won it. <laughs> Over the right center of Saturn, quarter between 50 and 75. Okay. Uh, okay. Round, round there. Round there, I guess? I don't know. Uh, okay. <laughs> Ready, good. Let's see it. Oh, that's good points, though. That's good points. Isn't that like 50 in the green circle? Yes. Or is it 30? No, it's 30. Right, right, right. Okay, that's good. That's good. Uh, don't adjust aim. Oh, shit. Okay. Uh, halfway between 25 and 50. Slice midway. Excuse me? What do you mean by that? Uh, sli is, is that like land, like the second button? What do you mean slice midway? Uh, hold on. I need to... Do, do you have some fucking terminology for this, bud? Control F slice? Okay. Meters in the red, the shot be straight on as you aimed it. If you land in the yellow to the left, you'll hook it to the left. If you land in the yellow part to the right, you'll slice the ball to the right. Okay. So we want to slice it midway to the right. Hook and slice are specific terms that I need to know, apparently. Uh, okay. No, do not exit minigame. So, what, how, how much power again? Halfway between 25 and 50, slice midway. Okay. <laughs> that seems perfect. Ooh, okay. That's really good. If not perfect, I'm happy with that. And it's good tech, yes. learning to hook and slice as well. Okay, don't adjust aim. One third between 75 and 100. Might need something better in brackets. Hi, Chronicle. Hello, yeah. We're doing a bit of golf. I'm, I'm using the good old Surik Z guide. Because he's got, like, very good tips. Uh, we've already got, well, we're on 300 now, which we want to break. But we should be able to do that now. So we're four hits in. Uh, okay. Ah, uh, it's a bit, 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 bit too little, but we'll see. Oh, the fucking aliens. Oh. Yeah, to actually get that in, you need to thread the fucking needle on that one. Okay, over the right center of the right-hand UFO, 100 yards. This one. 
Really? Yeah, I guess with the wind. Right center, yeah. Okay. And just max power. Fucking yuck it. <laughs> yuck that fucking thing. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, that was really close to sinking, but that's enough points to win. Yes. Absolutely yucked. Okay. Uh, center right of Saturn. Just under 50 yards. Okay. <laughs> yep. Oh, come on. Bullshit. A, a lot more of these need something better, bro. Uh, don't just aim between 50 and 70. Okay. Maybe a bit too little. Uh, oh, wait. Cleared the obstacles. That's points. There you go. Use. Nice. Okay. Don't adjust aim 100 yards. Thanks to thanks to Tass for this tip. Oh, cool. I was just I was just actually wondering. I'd like to see this done as a Tass run type thing. Okay. Straight down the middle. Oh. Yo, that's really cool. Off the fucking backboard. Oh, imagine if we sunk that though. That'd be insane. But Hundo, that's pretty good. Uh. Century of the UFOs, one third between 50 and 75. Okay. One third? Yeah. Maybe a bit much. That's like halfway, basically. Uh, oh, come on. They hit the fucking string holding up the UFO. Fuck off. Right edge of top left satin. One. Okay. Let's start with that. Right edge of top left satin. So, like, right there. One third between 50 and 75 might need something better. Okay. One third. Okay. Okay. Let the light. Oh, come on. Yeah. Need something better, bro. In this game, the UFO catches you. Oh, no. <laughs> but we did it. It's fine. I won the sub story, hopefully. And now we should be in the uh, Amon territory, I think. Unless I missed something, which I may well have. That was amazing, Kiryuan. Didn't think I was ever going to get beat. You know, it's been ages since I met somebody with the technique and power you got in those arms. Here, this is your reward. Albatross Akagi's club. Hell yeah. What's this? A special club made just for me. Ain't a single one. Oh. Controller? Hello? Didn't run out of battery, did it? I hope not. I was charging it. Hmm. That's okay. Uh, not only that, I'm giving you the... Okay, it's out of battery. Fuck. Okay. Um... Hopefully I can just plug it back in because I, I switched over from wired to wireless earlier And it wasn't picking up the controller uh, We'll see if it works the other way. I, I thought I had it charged decently, but uh, 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 the, the convenience the convenience of a wireless controller, right? Uh, okay, yeah not only that, I'm giving you the title of Albatross Akagi 2.0. You can call yourself that once you turn pro. I think the club is plenty, thanks. Man, I gotta keep practicing too. Well, no better time than the present. See you around, Kiryuhan. He's a cool guy. Off he goes, into the sunset. He, the, that door wasn't open and he just bumped his face on that door. So that should be it, unless I've missed something, which I may well have. Uh-oh. Oh, boy. It might just be a, a waiting situation. Uh, yeah, there was this, like, one at the bottom, which I... I... I am assuming that... Because we looked at the list, and there wasn't anything below Treat Me Right uh, on the sub-story list. So I assume this is just... Uh, you know, complete all sub-stories. It's called Albatross, because like most birds, he can't see closed glass windows. <laughs> oh, good one. Yeah, it's that one plus these four, so it should be it. So, I guess we'll... Maybe we need to head back to Camarocho, and we'll... Or maybe just running around for a bit, I'll get a call. With how, you know, weird sub-story activation can be sometimes. Uh, is this the way to the nearest taxi? Yeah. Oh, it's annoying now that it's uh, now that it's plugged in. I mean, it's gonna it's showing PlayStation buttons now, which is fine. I don't care about that. 
Um, the annoying thing is it doesn't use the share button as a select button anymore. I have to hit the fucking big fat pad now, which is fine. You know, I don't mind hitting it for stuff like that. But it's just that I have to switch depending on how I'm using the controller. It's whacked. I could probably fix that through Steam if I wanted to, but I'm uh, also lazy. Right, back to Camarocho, which is probably under threat somehow. Okay. Nothing has happened. Okay, time to have a look at the guide. And so I have my I have my crazy weapons, right? I'm not gonna necessarily use those right out the bat. Uh I mean I will, but you know, I'll at least I'll give them the benefit of the doubt, you know? Right, uh sub stories. So yeah, the last one is treat me right. That's number seventy five. So we need to look at the first of the Amon ones, I guess. It's Kazia Amon, Jiro Amon, Sango Amon, and the Ultimate Assassin. How do we get Kazia's? Start us off. Substory will only appear once you complete 71 substories, all of them but these last four. Uh Okay, so is it is it just there? We don't get a call about it this time? It's in a parking lot somewhere? Yeah, there it is. Alright. Alright, sick. Let me uh get rid of that pop out chat. I don't need that now. Go back to the usual setup. There we go. Uh, wrong tab there. There you go. Okay. Right, so we just need to head up there. So let's uh, taxi to around there. Oh. I, I don't care what you want, Hurricane. Actually, before we do that, we need to change clothes. You know? I can't... I can't be going and fighting the fucking Amons of all people in this outfit. You know, it's very flashy. Uh, and it looks great. But it's not... It's not... Oh. Wait, excuse me. My fucking cable. Stop it. But, you know, there's, there's going out on the town doing minigames gear, and there's fighting, like, the hardest fights in the game clothes. So, as always, as is customary at this point, the shirt... Oh, I forgot it! Oh, I forgot because of the mud, it includes the underwear as well. Stay away, Haraka. I guess Haraka's coming with me for this, but this is how we're going to fight the Amans. Usually, it'd be a lot cooler, but the silly mud makes it so that you're in the... Uh, in boxes only. Barefoot! Barefoot out on the street. The wet street. Oh, that's so unpleasant. I don't like that at all. But that's how a real man fights. That's how a dragon fights. Here we go. This is how it is. But yeah, we've got our insano weapons just in case we need them. I don't know how crazy it's going to get. Because so far from what we've played, zeros were the most crazy. But that was when there were two of them. The one in Kuami 1 wasn't that bad at all. But now there's four, so God fucking knows. Anyway, here he is. <laughs> Kazuma Kiryu? Do I know you? You're about to. I'm Kazuya Amon, the oldest Amon brother. I'm here to kill you. And this is a new one. We haven't met this one. It's it's only been So and Joe so far, I think. Nothing personal. I just have a contract to carry out. And that's what I plan to do. Huh? A contract? Who hired you? Huh. I don't know what kind of hitmen you hang around. We usually don't tell our marks who's paying us. Now, it's time you learn the true terror of the strongest killers in Asia. The Amon Clan! I wonder if Kiryu's going to have, like, forgotten them again. Oh my god, he's got double axes! Holy fuck! Oh my god, oh shit. Okay, right. Fight fight fire with fire, is what I say. That's, that is what I always say. Yeah, we want a guard. And we want to not use the heat move, because that will mean we can't use the weapon anymore. Oh, fuck. Oh, the, the Kali stick's kind of slow, I'm feeling. Oh, Jesus. Okay, I'm going to switch to this again. I've got more practice with this thing, too. Look at that damage! And it's got such, like, sweeping motion on it, too. Let's, oh, let's do a bit of fisting. We do have heat moves, like, regularly when he's attacking, which we can definitely make use of. Ah! Oh, I'm nearly dead. Oh, my fucking god. I, I didn't, like... Yeah, we've got plenty of healing, but I didn't actually make a point to check and refill if necessary. Ow, ow. It's, it's weird. It's finicky, like, when that shows up, for example. 
but it's a pretty good one. <laughs> oh, there's another one for you. Slapper. Slapper the man. All right, he's fairly low. What is what effect does he have on? What is that? Ah, fuck. Fuck. I don't know if we can tiger drop these, maybe? Fuck. Hmm. Probably not a good idea to try. Uh, I need to heal again. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Scary. This is about what I expect for the amounts. Kicks him! Yeah! Love wins! <laughs> I almost forgot I wanted to kiss the Amans. <laughs> uh, it doesn't get old. Like, when I use it a bunch of times one stream, especially when I use it accidentally, it gets old, but it's... It, it's... it's very funny. <laughs> oh, I just punched him in the head on the way down after making out with him so hard he passed out. <laughs> oh. Hmm, my brothers still roam the streets. I guarantee. Your death will come by a man. Alright, that's Kazuya. He's definitely tough, you know. He's absolutely chunking my health when I got like actual good stats. Um, so where's the next one? Are we gonna have to go in doors to trigger it or are we gonna get a call? Uh regardless, let's go eat a Kanrai, because I need to refill my health. That's an interior as well. So perfectly suits all of my needs. Just gonna go to Kanrai without wearing any clothes. They do, they do not have a no shirt, no shoes, no service type thing going on. Fill me up, but a cup. There you go. Yeah, you don't want to. You don't want a very muscly naked man to walk into your place of business and say the words "fill me up, but a cup" to you. That's a that's a bad day on the job. All right, come on, Haraka. Of course, Haraka's with it with us for all of it. Haraka doesn't question anything anymore. She's seen too much. Alright, what do we got? It is not on the map. Let's have a look at the guide. The next Amon brother is behind Serena. No, I don't see him. Just having sacred wood armor and a heavily beast bracelet. Carries a submachine gun. I don't want to spoil it on these things. Okay, I guess we'll go behind Serena. I, it is not showing up on the map, which... You know, it's not encouraging, but we'll have a look. We will fast travel there also, because I am a gamer. I do not waste time. Out of the way! I got no clothes on. And I, I hunger for justice. <laughs> yes, uh, I would like to go here. Wherever's closest to Serena, please. Like, with us being able to call the taxi, seemingly just, like, not even call the taxi, just from the menu, basically call the taxi, like, from this map in, uh, from the looks of it in 8. Oh, there it is. Okay, so going into Kanrai doesn't count for, you know, populating new substories into the overworld. But taking a taxi does. It's very late to be learning this information, but it'll be useful in the other Dragon Engine games, probably. Just won't be useful for a while. I'll have to remember it. Uh, oh god. Yeah, it's gonna come to the point where we can just... Fast travel to any point on the map. Hello, you're new. I didn't refill on heals. Uh, oh well. We've got plenty. Oi. Hey, you Kazuma Kiryu? That's right. And you are? Amon brother number two, Jiro Amon. Been hired to kill you. Alright. Hired by who? Sorry, that's not for you to know. Get ready to taste the might of the Amon brothers. All right, what do you? Well, I know you've got an SMG apparently, but let's see how you fight. Ooh. Yeah, hopefully I won't have to look at the guide again. Yeah, there's the SMG. At least he's got like nothing to guard with. I might do some extreme heat on him. Oh, he's got nades. Oh fuck! Blow yourself up. It, oh, they're flash nades, and they didn't work on him. Where's my extreme heat? Oh, there it is. Oh, I'm, I, I'm like a pixel away from it each time. Fuck! Hey, oh wow. 
Hey, 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 my health is not looking good. Let's fix that. We're waiting for Gossamon. <laughs> Give me my heat. I want to do extreme heat things to you. Oh, how'd I do that? What the hell? Ow! Stop physically hitting me with grenades. Oh my fucking god, my health. Alright. Time to get a bit more serious, I think. We're out of those. Time to get serious. Okay. We got a lot of his health down. Normally. Okay, there you go. Extreme heat. Yeah, that made it easy to, to get. Oh my god! I, I might kill him here? No. Uh, need to heal. Need to heal now. I've got one HP! Oh god! More nutriments. Yeah, definitely gonna have to refill after this one. Oh my god! My extreme heat's gone also. Just immediately. Oh, the Cali sticks are shit! Fuck the Cali sticks. Yeah, just use use everything. God, he does a lot of fucking damage. Not just because I'm naked, by the way. Uh, it's not, it's less half my health. Uh, it's the other half of my health. Fuck. Like he can't kill with it, at least. But it's devastating. Right, just use what we got. Use what we got. I know we we've got more. Have we got more heals, or is that it? I mean, I've got food. Uh, that I could dip into. Actually getting kind of dire on the heels front. Oh. There you go, fuck off. I didn't need to do any of, any of that healing. Oh well. We'll refill after this. All this XP I don't need. <laughs> My brothers are still out there. You'll die by a man hands one day. I swear. Imagine if that's how 8 ends. Like, all the... All the hype about the cancer and everything. And it's not even that. Just at some point in the story, some random Amon comes in during the actual main story for a change. And just shoots Kiryu in the back. Oh well. Thanks, Jiro. You were a you were a right fucker. Uh okay. Guess we'll uh we'll taxi close to wherever the to where the drugstore is. And two birds with one stone, that should reveal the substory as well. And we'll have to top off our health with uh, food. Or I guess we could do it with healing items since we're going to buy some anyway. Um, it's round this way. Naman brother gives him COVID. <laughs> yeah, it could be. It could be. I, mean, I don't know. Maybe we'll get like, maybe we'll get a, a, a Hawaiian Amon brother from, from like the international branch. That'd be fun. I know there's, I think there's a new one. In, I don't know which one you fight in the Judgment games. I know they're in Judgment as well. Um, I think in 7, it's Shin Amon that you fight as Ichiban. So we'll, we'll probably see Shin again, I think. Uh, yeah, let's just top off with... Uh, with my food slash drink here. Yeah. Now, we will go to the drugstore. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. We'll just refill on absolutely everything. I don't give a shit. Don't care. Not feeling well? Yeah, I just got my ass kicked. <laughs> the toughness ZZ is the really important thing. I could have, like, gone and done more Colosseum stuff, which I do need to do. Uh, still got Colosseum stuff to do. But I should have gone and... Uh... Right, do any of the... Yeah, the, the Staminans are good, too. We're full on those, so I should be using those as well. There you go. Right. Uh, need to be outside to see the map. Stop bumping into the door. Where are we looking? Uh, it could be in Salt and Bori. Guess I've got to look at the guide again. Uh, Sango. Third brother is in the... Oh, it's right there. It is in Theatre Square. Fuck, I'm just blind. Good. Uh... Do we... I, I don't know if we have a good uh, taxi point to the Theatre Square, but... I guess going to a taxi is faster than walking straight there, so... Best to take the chance, I suppose. I am a taxi... Wait, I am a taxi-taking chat. I sprint to the taxi. 
until I can only just barely hear the cries of my adoptive daughter asking for me to wait up. Yeah, we do. We have one that's right there. Or to get to the taxi before she can catch up and then abandon her. No, I would never do that to Haruka. Haruka's a good girl. A lot of kids in games and kids in media in general are just shit kids, you know? But Haruka's one of the good ones. Haruka's a gem. Hello. How's it going? I like your hat. Which one are you? Nah. You're Kazuma Kiryu, yeah? Who are you? I'm the youngest Amon brother, Sango Amon. Okay. They all look the fucking same, except for what they've got on their heads. Tell me who hired you. That won't matter once you're dead. Feel the wrath of the Amon brothers. This is where we fought, uh, I think it's Joe? Uh, last time in Kwame 1. Which worries me. But let's see what you've got. Oh, he's got a fucking bazooka. How do I get one of those? Oh, I'm not going to let you find that fucking thing. Oh. No, 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 no. He just fucking killed some people in a crowd over there. Oh my god, he's got fucking quick fire. Okay. Okay. Interesting. I like there being more than one Amon, honestly. It means you can do more, oh, more crazy gimmick shit like this. Oh, fuck, he fires like multiple at a time. That's not how that works. Jesus Christ, man. Oh, I was trying to take the sword out. Why is it gotta be so awkward to take weapons out, man? Wasting my heals. Oh, gotta be quick on the draw when he's evading. Okay. Oy. Oh no, I'm okay. I'm not dead. They they at least have that like one shot protection, which I appreciate. Maybe extreme heat was a bad idea. No, we can still hit him with that. Nice. Didn't mean to do that. I keep forgetting that it's breakdance with the grab button. You have to... Yeah, you have to lock on and grab or stance and grab. There you go. Strategic kiss. Strategic, strategic smooch. Oof. It gives me a breather too, honestly. Ironic, because, you know, neither of them can breathe as well, just now. Okay, we got him low. We got him low with that. It's such a valuable heat move, honestly. And we just kick him all the down. Uh, it's so good. All right, that's three out of four. Music. <laughs> You're not done with us yet. You might have beaten me, but you will die in the end. I assure you of that. We're getting through this faster than I thought I would. Uh, we're going to have to refill again, though. So I guess we'll... Yeah, we'll head up there and uh, take the taxi again. And I'll top my health off with food. I think I've got some, like, more. Okay, yeah. Oh, that's... No, that's... Boss. God damn it. Where's the food? Banan. I like my banan. Uh, my spaghetti. My pocket spaghetti. My pocket Odin. That's been sitting here for months at this point. The only gear is... There you go. Okay. Also, Harak is just watching a dad kiss strange men. Something's awakening. Honestly, with how many, like, Fujos are into Yakuza to begin with... Oh, I should, I should be using, like, damage buffing drinks as well. I forgot that temporary buffs were a thing, because I've, like, not you really used them at all. Uh... Right, let's go refill. But you know, being being involved in all these stories and being close to all these big, huge, buff, sweaty, passionate, hard fighting men who were fighting each other and, and God knows what else. You'd think you'd think maybe she might develop that sort of interest, but No, she turns out she turns out alright, our girl. That's how much of a gem she is. You know, she's exposed to all this and 
There's... But, oh, oh, nothing's loaded in! Oh, can I buy it, your whole stock, buddy? Oh, there you go. I've had some weird loads like that sometimes. Just stuff doesn't stream in fast enough. Uh, that's everything we want to top up, right? Yeah? Okay. Very good. Right, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll drink like a damage drink. Damage up drink. Or maybe defense up drink? Probably damage up drink. Oh, it's over there where we uh, learned all our stuff from Kamaki this time around. All right, all right, in the good old champion district, which is, yeah, is here. Yeah, I always, I always forget this alley because uh, Shangri La hadn't really been a thing until one. Oh, yeah, we're having loading issues, baby. Oh no, <laughs> it's fine. We don't have to play much more. The game's falling apart at the seams. Am I? No, I've gone past it. Fuck. I got distracted by the world disappearing. It's fucking Truman Show shit. Okay, let's... I can't... I can't save. I can't... I can't do an actual pause. I don't want to... Oh, it's because... It's because of you. Jesus Christ. You had me worried there. Uh, let me just... Oh, no, I'll do my drink first. So which one is the damage buff? Boost defense. Oh, you can sprint longer before tiring out. I wish I knew I had that. Fuck. Boost attack greatly for a short while. Let's do that. And then we'll pop a manual save. And then in we go. Yeah, that really does not last very long. Oh no, Kamaki! Oh shit! It does involve Kamaki. Oh no, we haven't seen him in a while. <laughs> Look how sweaty Kiryu is. Boy. Old man, what happened? I truly am growing weaker. My ultimate technique. Nanny. Who did this to you? Girl. Boy. Stay with me, old man. He's going. We're losing him. He's still breathing. Must have just fainted. Who would do such a thing? Oh, is he not going to be actually here? Did I waste my drink? I guess so. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Find the culprit. Uh. Oh. Oh, of course. Yeah, that makes sense, you know, we didn't have a big, well, we did have fights inside the Millennium Tower, but we didn't have a big Millennium Tower showdown, so I did my, waste my drink, but I've got more. I guess I could just keep using those since I've got a bunch of them. Just keep popping and refreshing them during the fight. I'm going to be going into the menu to heal anyway, so why not? Thank you, Eggman. I, 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 I trust in Eggman and in telepathic Pizza Dante. The ultimate assassin after finding a guy who isn't dead. Yeah, he's he's not got a really great track record, has he? He's failed to kill us every time. And he didn't even kill Kamaki. So, and Kamaki, Kamaki's strong. You know, we fought him, he's strong. But he is just an old man. He's definitely weaker than Kiryu. So, doesn't bode well for him. Hello. There he is. He is the boy. Cool. Who are you? You should recognize this one. Outside of them all looking fucking identical. You kind of forgotten me already, Kiryu. We fought but a year ago, remember? It's me, Joe Amon. You should be proud you're still breathing at this point. The initial test I sent you was no simple task. What are you talking about? My three apprentices. Unfortunately, you made quick work of them. You're out of your mind, Amon. Perhaps I am, but now that I've stolen that fossil Kamaki's book, detailing his ultimate technique, ooh, we're gonna get that. I know, I know we get something. I thought, um, I thought the thing that we get, I, I've seen a bunch of things that I've yet to get from, like, completing all the, the really end game shit. I think it's, I thought it was supposed to be, um, the technique where whenever you equip a weapon, it fully repairs it, or some shit like that. So, I, I, I I'm surprised that that's a Kamaki technique. The ultimate technique, second base. Uh? You're the one who did that to Kamaki? Much has happened since you defeated me, Kiryu. I learned how to kill from the barbarous warlords of Mexico. I studied ancient martial arts from a revered guru in the Himalayas. Swam laps around the frigid Strait of Dover. Oh. Tempered my body and mind in the sweltering heat of the Sahara. And now I have Kamaki's ultimate technique in this very book. That's a lot to do in one year. Hmm. Kiryu, 
Defeating you is the sole purpose of my existence. Oh, it's a grudge now. Every moment of the past year has been spent ensuring I achieve that purpose. Let's see how it goes. Oh, he's got a really cool sword! It's got fucking Sakura petals fucking floating around it. Holy shit. My man has got like a, a Final Fantasy XIV weapon. Really want this book back, you'll have to fight me for it. Now, Kazuma Kiryu, the time has come! Okay. Nice pants riding tanks. You got the cash of item skin? Exactly, yeah! Okay, okay. Okay, he's got a combo. Okay, whiff punish. Pun whiff punish, punish much. Okay, he's got a stab. And we can do the heat move on him at some point. Ow. Go again. Let me do the heat move. There you go. Punch at a man. Yeah, no, the charge, charge moves aren't doing me much good. Oh, fuck. Uh, I should have my attack up on. Let's uh, heal while I'm at it. Uh, is it? Uh, which one is it? Yeah, Citrus Cider. Ow. Ah, fuck. Oh, he's got a photon blade. Oh. All right. If that's the way it's going to be, fuck it. Oh, no, I didn't want to do that. Oh, fuck. That means I don't have it anymore. Fuck. Oh, well, I have the other one. Ah, oh, this is a mistake. Oh, shit. Holy hell. Uh, yeah, I do want to continue. Jesus Christ. That was a lot of damage. <laughs> oh. All right. Well, I, hopefully that replenishes my sword. If it doesn't, I can reload an auto save. But yeah, that's the thing. I tried. I I had that happen. Because it like depletes the uh, durability to zero when you do that, even on a an infinite durability weapon. We're all the way here. Fuck. Gonna have to do a manual save. Is my weapon? Yeah, my weapon's unfucked. At least that's the important thing. Um. But yeah, I tried taking it to Kamiyama to repair it, but he just wouldn't. Like, Kiryu would just say, oh, I don't have anything that needs repairing, even though, you know, I do. Not the best route, but I can't turn back now. There's many want to fight. I don't want to fight. Yeah, we'll do a man... I, I, I got distracted last time because there were, there were goons chasing me. Imagine that. Uh, they're still fucking up. But, yeah, I'll do a manual save this time. I just have to pray to Pizza Dante. Pizza Levitation Dante. Are they, are they in my way? No. Uh, that's perfect. Okay, good. Let's go, let's go, let's go. It's, I, it's Honestly, it's kind of a shame that the we didn't have anything on top of Millennium Tower. That's what I think of when I think of Millennium Tower duels. Not fucking in the, in the lobby of Millennium Tower. In the reception. Uh, okay, let's do a manual save. Thank you. Now, you and me, uh, can skip this. Okay. Alright. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with the, the beam sword straight away. And I'll pop my citrus cider as well. Cider with a Y. That's a lot of damage! Woo! That's insane! Straight to his second base. This is ridiculous. Come on. It can't be this easy. I want it. Oh, okay. Right, never mind. Fuck. Yeah. Uh, I do insane damage, but he does absurd damage. Okay, at least it loads my manual save. That's good. Should have my, my first strength before this and do another manual save. It can't be this easy. Fucking dies. It never, never fails the stream of karma. The only thing I can rely on. Okay. 
Yep, citrus cider. Don't grab him. The maniac. Oh, fuck me! Jesus Christ, man! He's insane. He's fucking insane. Like, we, we cannot afford to not avoid anything. Even with, like, again, like, where are my stats again? Yeah, these are my stats. You know, I could have better shit, but they're pretty good stats, and he still just gets me in, like, two or three hits. Absolutely absurd. Right, uh, get the citrus cider first. Oh, oh. Then do a manual save. Yes. Okay. Then skip this. Here we go again. At least the first phase is easy, haha. <laughs> I guess the first phase exists so you can learn his, his attack patterns without fucking dying. No, no, no. Oh, I was trying to pause to heal, you dickhead. Fuck. Yeah, those combos are ridiculous. This this is more akin to what I was expecting, difficulty wise. This is this is what I was expecting, not necessarily hoping for. I don't know if I was hoping for this, but I was definitely expecting this. It's still not like fucking insane old laser beam bullshit yet, but I'm sure we'll get there again. Back up! Back up! Back up. I can't I can't evade that shit. Oh my god. Wait, did I skip a phase? He's got- he's using the dual blades now, the car- he, he, Six! Oh my fucking god. Oh, I didn't mean to do that! Ah, oh, fucking miss input. Ah, need to heal. Now I gotta use the fucking Carly stick. Oh god. Not how I wanted this to go. Oh. You're gonna heal again. I'm gonna, I guess I'll refresh my damage buff. I think it might have run out. Throwing nades now. Okay, okay. I, 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 I don't know if we're supposed to whiff punish or what. How do you, how do you get him to whiff even? <laughs> I could try tiger dropping him, I guess. Oh my god. My health, though. I don't mind if we lose because I want my sword back. I don't know if we can tiger drop that. Now I'm thinking that's a no. <laughs> I could use the gun. If I wanted to be a true coward. I can't get in. I cannot get in on this man. Jesus Christ. Music's banging though. What if we what if we run around a lot? Try and bay out his moves while running. Oh god. Didn't work. It just do I mean he dodges that shit, because I'm terrible with these things. Also Kiryu looks so dumb running around with these in his underwear. Okay, that's a bit of damage. But at the cost of a lot of my health. Mm. I can't... Okay, put this shit away. Put these away. These are fucking useless. I ate them. Wish I hadn't spent money on them. Okay, we're, we're more agile like this. Oh, how are you supposed to react to that? Christ! Get like one hit, even when he whiffs. I have to grab him? Can I even grab him? He doesn't seem grabbable. I can't even kiss him. Oh god, we can. I guess we can try and like tank with super armor, maybe. Oh, that is a big heal. Using those more. Do we have like a? Oh, I lost all my heat, so can't do any heat stuff. Just immediately lost my heat. Fuck me.
me. He's, he's devastating. Oh, even that isn't working. Nothing works. I don't, I don't know if I can do a heat move to counter him. Oh, I can. I can, but I lost all my heat again. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, Nate. Yeah, the super armor's good if it lands. Which is questionable. Oh. Okay, charge attacks to open into combo. Let's try and do a heat move on him. Maybe. No, it's gone. Fuck. In a fucking flash, I no longer have heat. Thanks, Stamina and Royale. I can't I can't blame the Stamina and for that. Oh my Christ. He's insane. Yeah! Fastest heat move in the West! Uh. And we had a we had another opportunity then. Hey! Okay, we can do another one. We can do another one. There you go. There you go. Damage is damage. We still have heat. Ah, oh, again, there's like that tiniest chance for follow-up. Oh god. Oh. Stop doing that. I can't. I can't fucking heat move that. Oh, there goes my heat. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Good thing we got a lot of stamina and royale. Yeah? Oh wait! Shit. Yeah? 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 Oh, I, I need to be mashing, like, right out of that. Okay. I'm mashing. I'm mashing. Come on. Yeah! Follow-up slack! Heat move tech! We still have heat. We can, we can recycle heat this way. Ah! As long as I don't get hit too much. We can cheese him. Okay. Mashing. Oh, it didn't. No. Couldn't do it that time. Okay. Yeah. I learned this timing during baseball. Everything I did was important. It all came to this. Oh, shit. Pressing way too early. Oh. Okay, I'll take another Royale. Thanks. Okay. Just a bit more. Just a bit more. This could be it. This could be it right now. No. Okay, another one, another one. Come on. That's it! Get cheesed! Fuck you! I'm undefeated! We did it! That's three Yakuza games done. We have to do we have to do a 0.5 game. Which I guess we might do a bit of now, because we haven't we haven't been going that long. We can we can do some Majima Saga now. Damn! Seems even with all my study, I'm not strong enough to best you. Book of Ultimate Secrets, let's go! My regret runs deep, like a bottomless well plunging into the earth. Hell yeah. All sub-stories done. There you go. And yeah, story of my life, complete all sub-stories. Hell yeah, complete the sub-story completion list. It's it's exactly what I thought, wasn't it? Yeah, that's comp for doing all of them. There you go, every sub-story, all the crank clan creator, all the cabaret. More mini game stuff to do. Have I not? Oh, I've, have I not done any karaoke? Oh, we haven't done Pride from Despair. At least, um, maybe I got a shit score on it. We need to go do some karaoke. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is a. Oh, there's a thing here. Ah, nice. Yeah, this this is another thing that I want to. Oh, oh, it's a blue button. I don't want that. Um, we can read our new tome as well. But that is, you know, has been and should continue to be one of the uh, recurring points on top of like Amon hunting for every one of these games is to finish off after we finish everything with some karaoke and then we move on to the next thing. Yeah, there it is. Book of Ultimate Secrets. A book taken from Joe Amon. By reading it, you are able to learn the ultimate essence. Yes, please. Oh, no, this is a heat move. Okay, it was not that thing. Oh, wait. I Yeah, I know that heat move. Yeah. The ultimate technique that taps into every essence in your body consumes a lot of heat. Let's buy that. 
Should be in here, right? Yeah. 2,000. I can afford that. While in extreme with full heat. Jesus. Oh, but look at it. Ooh. That's really good. Okay. Okay. Ultimate essence. Still more things to get there. I need to I need to do all oh, there is something else here. Right, yeah, I wouldn't have got the the sound for just the bun. Where's the other thing? Uh but yeah, I need to do all of all of Coliseum. Uh all the bouncer missions. Some other stuff, but that can all happen off stream. Where where is the sound effect playing? Around here? Hmm. Can't find it. Playing hot or cold with this thing. It might be upstairs. We had that last time. Let's look up there. It's like when we're right under that overhang. Uh, over here. Aha! Yep. Nice. F2. Uh, where are we at with those? I need to get the rest of those for both areas as well. Uh, I think we were, we were pretty close with uh, both Camarocho and Sotenbori. So. Where are we at? Oh, no. There's still a, still a fair few more, but we got some to open right now. Toughness Infinity. I should have opened these up first. Before I did all the hard fights. Stamina and Royale. At least it's replenishing stuff I used. Iron Pipe. And Torna Plus Plus. Uh, oh, no. And there's this. A lucky Hannah Fuda card. All right. Cool. Yeah, I've got... I definitely got... Uh, I'm closer to completion in Sotenbori. The Camarocho. Right. Um, where's the karaoke place? Oh, it's right there. Perfect. Maybe we haven't done karaoke in this game. Which is a fucking crime. I guess we, we gotta go through all the songs then. Surely. If I've missed out on them. Is there a song to do with Harak as well? There'll be two of us. Yeah. Okay. Reserve a room. Okay. Yeah, what have we got again? Karaoke makes me so happy, Uncle Kaz. Let's pick a song. Yeah! I feel like we saw this menu. Maybe? Most played? Yeah, we did Pride from Despair once, but I didn't do good at it, right? I can't see how well I did, but we did Pride from Despair because I fucking love that song. It's one of my favorites. But we can do auto- Oh, we can only do Auto Metal My Life while we've got Haraka with us. Well, that's fine, because Ultimate of My Life is a banger. Let's go! Sung by Haraka. Oh, look at the icon for Kazuma-san! Oh! Every fucking time, there's some new ship from the mod. Catching me off guard. Alright, let's go. Patching it back up, baby. You go, Haraka. This is actually a banger. I mean, basically all the karaoke songs in these games are bangers. It's just... Nobody knows anything but back in Oh, look at the look at the dancing cat! Oh, oh, holy shit! I've seen that gif before. Yeah, people only know the the haha -ha funny meme song. They don't even know the best version of the haha -ha funny meme song, which we'll get to hear when we play Fort. Look at that fucking cat! Funky dancing cat! Oh my fucking god! Got a bit of lag then. Go for a perfect? We'll see. The the Dragon Engine karaoke mini games are not bullshit with catching off guard with notes. It's way more plausible. Okay. Okay. Look at him, he's so happy for his daughter. She's going to be an idol one day, and it's it's totally not going to have terrible consequences. <laughs> I love how enthusiastic they get. There's a really good version on YouTube uh, someone made of Haruka singing this song, but it's like everyone who can give, like, supporting backup. Oh, fuck. Oh, it's a good. Oh! Flashbacks! I can't look at them because I'm focusing on this shit. Actual banger though. Oh. Yeah, the dog! Even the dog! I can't remember his name. He was mentioned in this game. 
Was that one? No, that was this. Okay. Yeah, she's winking. Haruka! I missed, like, one thing. How would I do? <laughs> yeah, this stupid shit. <laughs> Goofy as hell. Look at that! Stupid funky dancing cat. 99.613. That's pretty good. That's number one of the daily chart. Haruka is a 99.613. You're right. Hell yeah. Right now I've got to kick Haruka off the squad so I can do more solo karaoke. I love singing like that. Thanks, Uncle Kaz. You're going to sing too, right? Oh, can I? Oh, shit, I can. Let's go. Thanks, Haruka. You rock. Uh, so We did Pride for Despair. Let's do tonight. Oh, no. Yeah, it's this one. It's time to get sad. Okay, let's go. We start from this night. Yep. It's a banger, but they're all bangers. I'm going to say that for every every song. Yeah, there's more songs to do, I think. Maybe we have to go to the other karaoke. There ca there's like a karaoke place in Son Bori, right? Maybe? I don't know. We'll kick her out and see what that does. Look at him. This fucking... With no clothes on, just vibing. He's having such a good time. Ah, good. Nice. Come on, sad visual. No! Oh, no. I think we did this one in Kiwami 1. Oh. Still depressed about Nishiki. Yeah. Oh, even the judgment music video. No. <laughs> Miserable. We have to wait till seven for them to be reunited, at least in some sense. And then eight for him to really have a proper friend again in Ichiban, with them being in the in the party together. Oh God. We're good. No. Man, honestly, like, experiencing how kind of half-baked 1 and 2's stories are, even in the remakes. Oh, that's MASH. I keep forgetting about that. Fuck. It makes me appreciate how fucking good Zero's story was. Zero's story was fucking fantastic all the way through. Whereas, like, you know, 1 and 2 have a bunch of stupid fucking mandatory sub stories that don't matter and don't make any sense and just characters do stupid shit like Date letting Haruka get kidnapped. Stories are nowhere near as good. I'm looking forward to the stories getting good again. I know we're gonna we're gonna veer into fully batshit territory in Yakuza 3. I know Yakuza 3 is fucking insane and then 4's got the lads. And I mean 4 has some fucking stupid shit. 4 has like the most notoriously stupid piece of shit. But it's gonna be funny. So cool, Uncle Cass. Damn right. <laughs> I'm just glad you're happy. But now I'm gonna kick you out of the party. Sorry. I need to sing more songs. I'll look at the list again. Yeah, time's up. Get me out of here. Thank you, thank you. Okay. So, in the mini games. 90 points on three songs, which is tonight, Pride from Despair, as long as you're happy. Like a butterfly, like a butterfly is in this? I didn't think it was. I guess that's why the glasses are here. Ring, sunshine, Euro, Euro de sunshine. Oh, right. Don't I have to, oh, I have to, I have to go on dates with the hostesses, don't I? To do that. Ooh, ooh, how do I do that? How do I do that? Um, that, that might, oh, okay, okay, okay. Hold on. We're doing research, because I know you can take the, the girls out on dates, and you can... There, there's, like, different versions of a lot of the uh, the duo songs, and, you know, the songs sung by the girls um, for for each of the hostesses. So I need to... I need to look at the guide again. Karaoke. Uh, okay. Uh, Majima sings? How do I do that one? Wait a minute. Yeah, as long as you're happy. Oh, fuck, I know which one that one is. How do I do that one? Uh, how do I do that one? I really want to listen to that song. That's a really good one. And it's going to be a really good setup for Majima Saga as well. Uh, 
Or do I have to do that as Majima? But, but it was it's in it's on the list here, so surely not. Inviting people along to sing is as simple as going to the place and a prompt will pop up to invite them. As long as you satisfy the conditions. Okay. So I need to level them up. To invite Majima, you have to be on chapter 6 or later. Okay. Yuki can be invited as soon as, as soon as you complete the Millionaire League Championship. We can do fucking karaoke with Yuki! Holy fuck, I'm on the wrong street. Haraka, I need to fucking kick you out of the party right now. This is vitally fucking important. We get Yuki karaoke. Best girl. Also, Majima karaoke. Best girl. I have to fucking go to Serena. I guess it makes sense. It's, it's fuck, it's Kamurocho, you know. Hold on, I gotta bring OBS back up. Uh, we can't, you can't just tell her to go back on her own. She is a tough girl and she can handle herself, but also, you know, it's Kamurocho. Right. Can I talk to you now to get you to fuck off? Yeah, wait here a sec, Arika. Wait here forever, probably. Well, wait here until I come back to this game to level up your uh, affection meter. You'll have to wait that long. I've got other people to karaoke with. Can I, can you like call the hostess girls to karaoke here in Kamurocho? Or do you have to go to Sotenbori for that? I hope you can do it just here. That would be much more convenient. You know, I'll, I'll make the effort to go. I didn't know like a butterfly was in this. Like, oh, where have I gone? No, I've gone the wrong way. But yeah, like a butterfly is a huge mega banger. Oh, I don't want, I don't want to do this. Come on. It do, oh, oh, my sword is fucking fucked too because that was the, the run we succeeded on. Oh fuck! Now I fucked these too. Shit. I guess we'll have to try and figure out how to fix them, or just sell them. I guess it doesn't matter at this point because we're done. All right, gun. It does. It does shit all for damage. It just has infinite ammo. Ow. The Dragon SP. The Wesker one. I can't just whack him with it for decent damage. Ah. Oh, you can't- Oh my god, he's fucking sent him flying! That's it. Gunned to death. You don't know where- You don't want to know where Kiryu's been hiding that thing. Oh! Yeah, another street boss. Okay. Might do that today, might not, who knows. There's still like- I haven't been keeping track. Uh, but it's like certain enemy group types. There's like 5, 10, and 15. Uh, are those the thresholds at which the street bosses unlock? I don't know which ones I've got and not got. Oh, let's go! Sing with Majima. Yes. Should give Majima Santa a call. Let's go! Another one of my favorite songs. I'll definitely say, you know, I'll definitely say that all the songs are bangers. But I won't say that they're all my favorite songs. But the one with Majima uh, in this game is one of my favorites. Let's give it all we got. Kitty chan just one moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, if you if you thought tonight was sad, time to fucking weep. All right, I'm going first. Here's the one I want, Kiryu-chan. Kiryu-chan! Oh. Oh, fuck. As long as you're happy. Let's go. Passionate backup. Time to weep! I'm gonna have to sing a song myself as well, though. Is that the same with all all the girls? Because I just want to sing everyone else's songs now, since Kiryu's only got two solo. Come on! Come on! Yeah, I, I didn't know where this one was. I assumed it was going to be in Majima Saga or something. Oi! You've got the voice of an angel, our boy. He's got another one of my absolute all-time favorites is in... I don't know if it's Kurohyo 1 or Kurohyo 2, but one of the Kurohyos has a really good Majima song that I'm looking forward to getting to. Be lucky you're seeing, like, untranslated lyrics because it's very sad, but you'll get the idea soon. Come on! You're getting in the way, here, you? Oh yeah, the, the idea is... You know, Kiryu has his misery. And his, his memories and how he wishes things were how the way they were in Zero. And uh, so does Majima. 
Majimus is even worse because he's still thinking about Makoto. He hasn't let it go. Oh. Oh, it's so fucking miserable. So soulful, though. Oh, man. It fucking stabs deep. Like one of the last times they saw each other, these scenes. Oh, God. Oh. <laughs> you know, he straight up says it. <laughs> he says it. He is not let go. My man has not healed. Fucking like 20 years later, or whatever it's been now. Almost 20. Fuck. Should we perfect it? Oh, and then just walking off at the end. Oh, Majima, no. How'd I do? Was that a perfect score, though? Was it? Maybe? Hmm? Will it, will it show? Yeah, it just shows 100 for a perfect score. Number one. Beat that shit. Loser. You hear those vocal stylings? Gotta be singing my heart out, Kiryu chan. I think I did good there. Yes. Right, so it's still still just. This. We'll do we'll do Pride from Despair again. Because it's one of my favorites. It fucking rocks. And singing this with Majima feels appropriate. Hey, yeah, he's right there. He's in the song. And I love it. I don't know if we can, like, exit out early for the other songs. Because we, you know, after this, I mean, hopefully we'll get 90 plus on this. But then we'll have gotten 90 plus on all two of Kiryu's songs. Okay. But yeah, it seems like you can take all of the host F girls on the date or to, you know, to do karaoke with. So I guess they've like all got the right, because it's like their vocals as well. At least the ones I've seen, there are like multiple different female vocal tracks of the uh, the same songs, like Like a Butterfly and stuff like that. So I don't know how that will... I mean, well, I mean, I, I assume they're all different tracks. So I gotta, you gotta pick best girl, so I'm gonna take Yuki. Maybe Koyuki? I don't know. They're all good. Oh, fuck my hold! That's a bad one. I bet I, I did that the first time. There you go. And, you know, we, we've had the I Miss Nishiki song. We've had the... Oh, fuck. Majima misses Makoto song. Now it's the, the Kiryu Majima love song. And it's a banger. Yeah. Lyrics in this one are also very good. You should you should look up the translated lyrics. Oh fuck. My rhythm. No wonder I did shit last time. My rhythm's bad. Oh. How'd I do? Was it better? Did I beat 90? I did fuck up a lot. It might not be. Fucking stupid dancing cat. Oh, it's it's worse than my high score! Trash! Absolute trash. Think it could have gone better. Yeah. It's terrible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get me out. Yeah, hopefully there's a way to just do one song and then quit out. We'll we'll try that for the, the next ones. No problem, Majima. You're the best. Uh sing with Yuki. Urgent. I should give Yuki a call. I need you to come all the way to Kamarocho right now for karaoke. Do you mind? Perfect. Okay. Sure you want to sing with me? <laughs> I can't wait. Hell yeah, me too. Best girl. Best girl. Best girl. Undeniable. Oh yeah, now she's wearing a... Where, where did she change? Did she bring the outfit with her? But also, hell yeah. Uh, what song would you like? Hmm. 
I don't think we've done ring yet. Obviously, it's the Eurobeat Sunshine, which is new. Hmm, what do I want Yuki to sing? Let's do ring. Let's do ring. We'll just do whatever. Let's go, Yuki! Fucking fucked up already. I'm sorry, Yuki. I'm too worked up because it's Yuki. Hag appreciators of the world unite. Oh. Oh, God. Those, like... Those ones are tough. I always fuck up the rhythm. Her voice is beautiful. Oh. Okay, I'm in. I'm in. I've got it. The rhythm's back. You gotta work back to it. She's got pipes! Hell yeah. Okay. Like, are we gonna get a... You know, like a video for this, like we do? You know, like, background imagery? And if so, is that unique for all the girls? That's the one I wanted to know. Right. Sorry, I don't have much to say during this. I'm just, I'm just having a karaoke time. Yo, yeah, yo! It's not even imagery; it's original video. Holy shit! It's more than I expected. I've not seen this. I mean, it looks in engine, so could they just... Oh, fuck, I missed one. Do they just replace, you know, insert whatever girl with the same rigging, or what? Oh, ring! Well, obviously, it's the name of the song. I, I fucked up a lot. Oh, no. You'll find someone one day, Yuki. Oh, God. I'm, I'm emotionally affected. Ah. Oh, that was just sad. I'm sorry, Yuki. Didn't I didn't mean to make you bear your heart like that. Your insecurities. That's rough. Oh well. How how'd we do? Probably not that great. They they asked for a lot, honestly. Oh, just over ninety. Oh fuck. That's good enough. Three sand. That was not helpful. <laughs> wow. Sorry. <laughs> You're saying too, right? Uh, no. I will not. <laughs> get owned. <laughs> and we get to skip the whole, like, getting the 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 call on the, the booth telephone as well. Okay, so... Ooh, mm. Wait, let me, let me look at the song list again. Let me look at the song list. Is it just the same songs for all the girls, or what? I, I still fucked up Pride from Despair, so we've done that. No, 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 we didn't have regular sunshine. So what's up with that? Uh, okay, let's call in Kirara and see what she's got. I guess. Yeah, who's got regular sunshine? We've only got Euro de sunshine. Yep, yep, yep. In we go. And they've all got little bits of dialogue for doing stuff together. I imagine it might be the same for other stuff you can do together. So much content. Yeah, again, they, they change. I guess maybe they've got it under their coats, but Yuki definitely didn't. She's wearing her usual outfit. So she's only got Like a Butterfly. Okay. And yeah, Like a Butterfly is a banger. Let's go. Let's hear it. Let's see it. I mean, we, we've seen plenty of the Like a Butterfly oh, Kiryu really? outfit already, but... Get to see it in its proper context. And another fucking fantastic karaoke song. Yeah! And yeah, right, there's a, an Ichiban version of this song as well. So many variants of this particular song. And 
Nice. Try not to fuck up now. Just because I'm getting absorbed into the song. My mind's held by the banging. God, Kiri's pin is so good though. Yeah, like there's a there's, there's a few like that. There's a song in another one in seven, which is like one of my favorite ever. Fucking Hell Stew, which has versions for both. Oh God, Ichiban and uh, Zhao. Oh, let's go. Yeah, it's not the not the same outfit, just the glasses. Also, a really good video for this one. Oh, look at that! Iconic! He clapped that fast, scare you. Actually, don't tell me. Look at him! <laughs> He's so into it. That's my favorite thing about Kiryu, is his ability to take everything as seriously as possible. Yeah, this one's really high quality compared to what we usually get. See you, Kiryu. You're not clapping that fast, so what are you doing? Was that perfect? Oh, the end pose. So good. That's right. Now i got to figure out who's going to have both versions, versions of Sunshine. Hmm. Yeah, number one, baby. Karara undefeated. You got a lot of XP for that. Anytime you want to say. It is not my turn. Let me just check. Yeah, no, it's still the same shit. It is not my turn. I don't care. <laughs> I cheated you. You thought you'd get to hear Kiryu singing, but I lied. Okay, so sing with Koyuki? See what Koyuki has. I like Koyuki. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, two of us. Let's sing a ton. It's, it's like there's more menuing to be done now that the karaoke is handled like this, which is the one downside. Uh, yeah, regular sunshine. Let's go. A classic. You do it, Kuyuki. You're the best. Second generation Yuki. Yeah, I don't know if I mentioned it already because I was, I was looking at karaoke stuff. And I'm fairly sure, like, it's all, like, we have hostess stuff again, at least in six. Um, and that came out before this, actually. That's something I always forget. Um, that also has all the same girls in it, I think. So, I don't know. I, so, something, I feel like, because that game came out first, before this, that there probably won't be that much continuity there. But I think Yuki might be back again. So that's good. I don't know the exact details. A classic. Whether it's Eurobeat or not, it's a banger. Oh, and you know, with me doing all the... Well, not that much prep, but whatever prep I could do with my free time this uh, today for this. Um, I, I held myself back from playing Risk of Rain despite the incredibly powerful urge. Like, the first day I haven't played it since it fucking came out. Um, but I mentioned on Twitter, I, I, I got that big secret that I mentioned. It's so fucking funny. Like, I won't say too much. But whenever I'm playing with it, I'm just, like, constantly giggling. Basically, like, oh, it's so... I, I can't even describe it, because spoilers, but I'm like, oh, it's so goofy. <laughs> Just doing absolute giggles at how silly it is, but I love it so much. I need to play with it more. That's what I want to do. I need to get one more win, I think, to unlock Mercenary. And then I'll have all the characters, and then I've got some more items to chase after. 99.796. You did, you did great. Right, so now, now is the question. We've gotten lucky thus far. We've got to roll the dice, you know. We, well, we know, we know Yuki has Euro de Sunshine. It might be worth just going back to her, but we gotta spread the love to the girls as much as possible. So who would have it? Let's let's take Aika. I feel like Aika would have the Euro beat Sunshine, maybe. Based on nothing at all. Just the two of us. We can make it if we try.
What do you got? Let's see. Reveal. I'm gonna have to kick you out of this booth if you don't have it. No! It's just like a butterfly. Fuck. I should have figured that, because I know Aika's one of the girls that has like a butterfly. I shouldn't have bet on her. Fuck. Wasting my money and my time. Come on. Uh... Yua? Would Yua have it? I feel like Yua would have Ring. And maybe regular Sunshine, honestly. Hmm. Let's see. Maybe? We can just run through them really quick, see who's got what. No! Regular Sunshine! Get out! You're a disgrace! Leave! Hmm. Okay. Maybe Shoko, then? I don't know what song Shoko would have. Hmm. Can't just be Yuki, right? Mm-hmm. Don't laugh if I suck. He'll be fine. Uh... Karaoke isn't for singing good. Even Ah, it's Ring! Fuck! God damn it. Now I'm getting unlucky, as unlucky as possible. Who's even left? Who is left, actually? Did Karara, did Shoko, did you, uh... We haven't done Kana. Surely Kana. It can't just be Yuki. Right? Please. Yeah, yeah. You've got to have it. Come on now. No! It's only Yuki! Uh, which, on one hand, is pretty pug, because, you know, Yuki unique song. Oh man. Well I'm no, I'm not, I've got no reason to complain. I here's me just trying to spread the love, you know? But Yuki's my favorite of the hostess girls. Uh so, you know, more opportunities to get her karaoke. Then hell yeah. I absolutely want you. You're the only one who can do this. Can't ask anyone else. Euro de Sunshine. Let's go. Is this gonna have like the same, like, video component? Your backing video, or... Is it different? I haven't really listened to this version, either. I do like me some Eurobeat, though. Gotta see how it compares to the original. Right, there was, uh... I don't know if I ever mentioned it. There was, uh... There's a really good... Uh... Fuck, version of... Lolly Kami Requiem that someone made, a Eurobeat version, and that fucking bangs. I mean, that song bangs already. But that's one where the Eurobeat version is just mega sick. It's sounding good. Although, like, Sunshine isn't one of my mega favorites to begin with, so maybe that's something to do with it. It's even got the fucking lyrics going by on the screen as well. I never noticed that. The screen on the back. That's a good detail. Yeah, it's the same. But it's Yuki! Which means it's automatically the best version. She's doing her best. We love her. Look at the wink. It's good. It's good. I'd say I like it about as much as regular sunshine, which is just moderate. Not bad. Just moderate. There you go. Oh, I got a great anyway. Look at her. She's perfect. How could how how is she not perfect, bro? She's perfect. I swear to God. Okay. How'd I do? Pretty good. Thank you. Nice. Number one, Yuki. Correct. <laughs> okay. Get me out of here. It's okay. I don't. Yeah. We're like. Yeah, been 3 hours 15 now. But I don't think we'll jump straight into Majima Saga. So I'm already kind of worn out from everything we had to do, plus the warm-up. Um, so yeah, I think we'll call it there. Then we can give our full attention, while completely refreshed, to Majima Saga next week. And that is only the three chapters. I don't know how much there is to it. So maybe we'll get that done in one, and then we can start um, start three. The week after that, that'll that'll be fun. That'll be weird. Going from, you know, we've only played Z Zero and Kiwami 1 and Kiwami 2, which are relatively modern, re relatively recent games. 
Whereas three, three was the, the first one on the PS3. That was Kenzan. Uh, so it's like the second game on the old engine, but it's going to be weird to go back to that. It's going to be some whiplash, but I'm looking forward to it. The the story seems good. Anyway, that's that's all of Kiryu uh, in, in Kiwami 2. Uh, yeah, we'll call it there. Been, been, been very fun playing this game. Not like, it was never like agonizingly slow. I think we, we definitely took longer on this than, uh, than with, uh, the, with Kwame 1. So we got that, we got through that pretty damn quick, I think. Um, uh, but yeah, that's what we'll call it. Uh, we'll be back tomorrow for Quantum Break. I still haven't made a decision about Quantum Break, whether I want to buy the, uh, buy on Steam. I probably won't at this rate. I said I probably wouldn't earlier as well, uh, last time. Uh, but yeah, we'll do that tomorrow. Uh, bugs and all. Uh, I don't think we'll finish that, because I, I looked at where we're at in that, and there's still a fair bit more to do. So, we'll just, we'll just do as much as we can in that. Um, and then... Oh, and then we're doing Turbo Overkill on Sunday! I keep forgetting, but I'm very excited for that game. Oh, fuck. That's gonna be so good. Alright. Yes, we'll call it there. I'm gonna go rest now. Um, put put the Kiwami down for the rest of the day and probably play more Risk of Rain Returns. Um, but yeah, until next time, I hope you have a very lovely morning, noon, afternoon, evening, night, whatever time of day it may happen to be, wherever you are, uh, and I'll see you around. Goodbye. 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 Goodbye.